Welcome, everybody. It's been a minute since we played some Oblivion. It's about time we get back to the grind. Finish up that Thieves Guild. How's everybody doing? I live again. Look who just, yeah, I peeled myself out of bed. Just for you. Just long enough to make an appearance, and then I'm going right back after. I was, like, still awake last night, very late. I was like, all right, maybe the 10 a.m. stream. Maybe that won't work. Let's fudge it over. Make it 11. Kiwami means beans. Thank you very much for the donation. Is that, That's Polish, right? I uh, don't know what the conversion is. I think that's something, like, in the neighborhood of $10. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm trying to learn trying to learn to get better at like just calling these things but uh it says did you know that the critically acclaimed mmorpg final fantasy 14 has a free trial as a matter of fact i did know that as a matter of fact i did know that i've played ff14 um uh, not extensively but i did enjoy it i've heard from a lot of people that the story is very good um thank you thank you for that donation i don't know if that was like a heavy-handed hint I'm gonna go ahead and load the games before this music gets way too loud. Ah, yes, the Breville Wizards Grotto. Oh, it's like five bucks? Okay, I was, uh, I was a, a little bit off. Really? 25 is five bucks? I'm trying to think, because I've had a few people, um, uh, join my Patreon from Poland, and I, th I, I, I thought I had it down, but I don't know. So many different units of currency. Thank you, Silvar. It's skooming time. Yeah, you know what? I don't know. Do I even have any skooma? I'm all out, I think. I don't know. I think I gave up on my... Uh, my lamp has been fully rehabilitated at this point. So let's... Let's get cracking on finding our way through this uh, hell hole that I was struggling to navigate last time. Um, you have to tell me how the audio desktop audio looks weirdly kind of quiet. Maybe it's just because I'm not doing enough loud things. I don't know. This game is like the least alt tab friendly of all time, at least without any kind of like user patches. So, okay. Um, let me get my bearings here. I got stream brain going on, game brain. It's a lot happening. I got a. I got it. What is the. What do they say in Metal Gear Solid? Simplify your thoughts. If things get too complicated, try simplifying your thoughts. Breville Wizard's Lair? Is that where I want to go? No, I don't think so. It, look, it looks like it. They want me to go that way, but I'm not gonna. Edge looks like my cousin. If my cousin was cool. <laughs> Cousins are my business, and business is good, so I'm happy to hear it. What's their name? Their name is Lamp. Lamp is the name of my character. L-A-M-P, yeah. Uh, like the light source. Lord's Manor, North Wing. Okay, I don't know. I guess I'll... There was a... There, there was a uh, big pond in this area. And I think... I think it has something to do with the pond. I think, I think. See, it's so disorienting. It looks like things connect, but then they never do. So this room and back of here again. And that door can't be opened definitively. I don't like this area. I'm just gonna <clears throat> well, say that. Oh. Yeah, okay. Now this is, why won't you swim swim he won't there we go god okay um there's a giant slaughter fish in here that can absolutely kick my ass did you know that final fantasy 11 can still be played on xbox 360 to this day you know what call me when time splitters 3 can be played using uh, xbox live it's the only thing that matters to me i gotta but there's a another uh, cavern somewhere. 
I'm sure of it. Is he go all the way down? I don't want to go all the way down. This is like, that'll take me back out to the world map. I think. Nothing a little scoom I can't fix. Now that's wise sage advice. Now that's helpful advice if I've ever heard some. Is this the hole? I feel like I've been through here already, but... I don't know. I don't know, I'm out of leads. YouTube, yeah, I I, uh, I have a Jazz Jackrabbit song for my pre-stream, so YouTube has, like, permanently deemed my streams. I'm always playing Jazz Jackrabbit 2, according to YouTube. Pay that no mind. So I'm sure I've been here already. Or maybe I haven't? I, no, I have. Wizard Slayer, it's all... Fathis Aaron's Tower? I don't know mine, but... All I know is that going to the bottom of that swimming pool takes me back out to the world map. I'm so sick of being here. I'm so sick of being here and I started streaming like seven minutes ago. Oh, is that? Ew. Well, thanks, Bad Matt. I'm glad you think so. That was a very fun video to make. Definitely gonna see if I can find some more like ridiculous point and click videos in the future. I'm so for those who are at all interested. Um, damn, this game's like volume really jumps around. Holy. Uh, music volume can afford to be up a bit. Effect volume maybe a little lower. Let's see how that is. <clears throat> um, but yeah, anyway, for those who for those who care. My Ultima video is like almost done. I actually started it a little while ago already. Started it while I was still playing uh, um, Kingsfield. So, a Calabeth Ultima one. It's just shy of an hour long. Sort of more of a documentary. Definitely more of like a less of a wacky, funny video. Uh, more kind of like a legit kind of a historical look at the game. So, I'm pretty happy with it. And then Lost Odyssey after that, so. This Aaron's Tower, please. Tell me this is the right way to go. <laughs> nope. Nope, this just takes me out to the world map again. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's definitely not the right way to go. Uh... Can't be picked. Need a key. I, uh... I don't know. I looked this quest up, but I can't alt-tab, so my computer will explode. What the hell? Oh, this is vanilla. Vanilla oblivion. Oh, jeez. Okay, I got smoked there. <laughs> I'm seizing. Um... But yeah, uh, Ultima is a very, very, very formative game in the RPG genre alongside uh, like Wizardry and a few others that I talk about in that video. So it's like I wanted to go like way back and I'm planning on doing all of the Ultima games like slowly over the next year. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it because it was so much fun to like dig into early RPG history. And uh, I think it's really interesting, but like a lot of people don't uh feel like they can find games like this approachable so i'm hoping that this is sort of like a good way for people who don't really want to play ultima but still are sort of passively interested in it to get a taste for it <clears throat> and you do ultima online hit me up hey you know what I may actually take you up on that that is a very very important game and uh MMOs are kind of hard to review when you aren't surrounded by people who have, like, had that experience, so. So, uh, 
yeah, I don't know, when the time comes, I might sort of seek out people who have had experiences playing Ultima online and see if I can get some good stuff. I'm... I'm gonna start screaming here soon. Do I need a key to get into that tower? Is that, like, the right way to go? I, I was doing this, like, for an hour last stream. So I'm just looking it up. I, I, can't, I can't... I know it's a, not a good way to start the stream by, like, just going on the internet and looking something up, but, like... I can't... I can't do it. Um. Yep, it up, it do. Yeah, here we go. Fathus Aaron's Tower. What? What? Oh, sorry. Heal minor wounds. I'll do that while I'm waiting. Um. What did it. Okay, you gotta go to the fort area. Fathis key from his chest, which is located in the same room as lab. Okay, well, I don't know what his lab is. I'm assuming that would be in his tower. The only key to open this door is Aaron's strange key. Wait, do I have Aaron's strange key? No, I guess not. Okay. That is Aaron. Uh, okay, I guess I gotta go to his lab. I gotta go to his lab somewhere. Is this lab just down here? Would it make would that even make sense? Um <clears throat> uh, Oh no. Now my invisible cursor has destroyed my stream chat. Oh, shit. We're off to a terrible start here. I'm quick saving. Okay. All right, we're fine. It didn't crash, which I'm actually like... Blown away. Uh, this is not a lab. I can say that conclusively. I go back to the wizard's lair. <clears throat> okay, this kind of looks like a lab. It has lab like this to it. I don't see a chest here though. Like I must I must have missed something so gigantic because like you know how could it how could it be how could the game be sending me on this like crazy wild goose chase damn these map markers they've made me stupid and complacent the lab is in the outside cell up at oh Okay. Thanks, Bad Matt. I am actually shocked. I never would have expected this game to put a laboratory in, like, the, uh, the outside. Oh. Okay, what is going on? What is with all these fucking monsters? I don't remember seeing these when I was here a second ago. Is this? All right. 
Ah, yeah, this looks like a lab. Now, oh, if I can just not die. Okay, thank goodness. Bad Matt, hero of the stream. Truly a legend. Oh, that's it for the quest. I thought I'd have to go into the the tower. Okay. I'm just warming up, you pathetic worm. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> the boys are coming. Yes, good. Well, I mean I well I have the key, I guess oh. I might as well. Take a peek. so confused i'm i spent my life believing that this was the outside cell but that this itself is actually an interior cell that's made to look like it's an outside because it looked at the world map and it was well you know i guess it would do that anyway i don't know man i don't know this is uh this is rough but i'm glad it's over at the very least Hey, Tarvuld's Quest, what's going on, man? Good to see you. For those who missed it, I did a video game trivia on uh, Tarvuld's channel, which was tons of fun. And uh, I did not win. But for a while there, it was neck and neck. Go away. But that's a, it's a very fun show. I watched some of the other episodes, too. It's, uh, it's such a like good idea. It's probably most people wouldn't pursue it because they'd be like scared of copyright but if it's working out that's awesome it's a great fox he's in like a new house every time so probably get rid of this marker Hey, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that, uh, that tip. How are you today? You're just trying to get me back for another round of trivia, aren't you? You don't have to buy me off. I'll just do it, okay? I don't need your two dollars, although it is appreciated. Do you have the arrow of extrication? Hope for the whole arrow, but that is not your fault. I will have to have it repaired. This arrowhead advances was, uh, my plan to. That was a Dawson adjacent super, super chat. Okay, fair enough. Need of you again in the near future if my plans hold. I do accept bribery. Here is your reward. I am also promoting you to Master Thief in the Thieves Guild. Fathless Master Thief, of yes. The Imperial City will be your new fence. All right. The gray fox protects you. I am now a master thief, and all it took was to wander around looking for something that was like probably very obvious for several hours. And I'm also surprised that this game runs so well in ultra wide. This is not uh, modded at all. I, this is the Steam version with the latest official patch. It just the loading screens look a little messed up, and like the save file thumbnails don't quite look right. Um, but like the game itself, yeah, very, very surprising that it runs well. <laughs> Time to get back to work. Hey, Fenry, thank you for the five dollars. Finally got around to setting up an emulator, and I'll soon be able to play Onimusha two and three. Hope they get remasters like one. Oh yeah, they only did one, hey, for the remaster. Also, didn't they just like quietly drop an Onimusha, like? anime on netflix recently i've never gotten into that series but i've always found it like looks very interesting this uh, sort of character action game mixed with like resident evil which i guess when you consider that uh, mikami and kamiya both directed resident evil games and character action games those two genres seem to have some like weird shared history anyway thank you for the five bucks appreciate that <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. I'm gonna wait till night, and then I'm gonna... Uh, start robbing houses, I think. Something on your mind? Survivor fan, one of the seasons they had a uh, second chances for everyone's favorite losers. I can see that happening in the future for, for sure. I appreciate that. And it's been known that I am a favorite loser of everybody in the chat. <laughs> but yeah, I would absolutely be down to come back. That was very fun. I don't even know if people in this town are going to be asleep by 12. Or if they're degenerates like me who stay up till 3 in the morning and then have to move their stream over by an hour. Because they know they'll be grumpy if they wake up at 9, but not 10. Um, some people are awake. You know, I was really impressed playing Gothic that all of the characters had their own schedules as well. I definitely remember that being a big selling point of Oblivion, but it they had been seemingly outpaced by Gothic and possibly some others. Oh, what? I'm out of lockpicks. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. This is tremendously bad news. Well, I guess, can fences sell lockpicks? It must be. I, I thought I had like 800. I guess I broke a lot. Yeah, this has been a very good year. Good, very good year for games. Way too many to play. And here I am. Okay, this is not the right. Can I use the best fence the guild has? Where is this? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where is this guild uh, fence? This, I gotta. Oh, I can't use the scroll wheel anymore because every time I do, it starts scrolling through my OBS chat because my hardware cursor, even though it's invisible, is still on that screen. Um, the only fence I know is like Ongar. It's the only one I know where he is. It'd be kind of nice if they gave me some. What like it said? It said his name is uh, Bathus Uli's. Or Yulies, but this is Dulgro Shug's house. Are they like roommates? Secret lovers, perhaps? I guess I'll just wait till morning and see if I can get in here. I don't I I, I also don't know if this is the fence, but <clears throat> Yeah, Gothic is great. It's too bad the switch port broke eight hundred and fifty thousand different ways before I was like able to actually finish it. Cause it was actually like, I had very positive feelings about that switch port at first. It was like one of the, like, well, I wouldn't say it was great. It wasn't like a blue point production, but it was pretty good for what it was. The UI was really nice, better than the PC version. Um, but it just exploded before I could finish it. There was like so many things went wrong. So many quest triggers broke. The game crashed. Like I'm, no, I don't even remember. I kept the count in my head at the time. It was like 30 some odd times it crashed. Um, just, yeah, things held together with WD-40 and duct tape. And they got the nerve to announce a Gothic 2 port like a week after that one came out. It's still completely broken. They're already talking about uh, a Gothic 2 one. Hopefully they pay a little bit more attention to that one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just try going to the fence where, like, I know. I stole so much stuff in the beginning that I've never had to, uh, I've never had to actually use any of the other provided fences. Hello! Uh, sometimes he's in here. Not today. Yeah, I played Gothic 2 for some streams, and, like, I liked it, but when I'm streaming, 
I have a really hard time um, splitting my attention when I'm playing like kind of dialogue heavy single player games. Oblivion perhaps excluded because it's so like second nature. Um, I have a, a pretty hard really time like kind of immersing property. myself in it. Oh, thank God. I shouldn't sell it to you so cheap, but I know you want it. I think I can move this item for yet. You so I figured I'd play it at another butt. time when I could give it everything I had. That's a good deal. A good price for a good customer. I'm glad that's done. I need enough. Shadow. I also, and during that video game music trivia, I also commented on how one of my most prized video game possessions is this Wario figurine that I stole from Jess. If the amount of cake that they gave this Wario doll is so like completely unnecessary. They literally gave him like a full butt crack. There's no reason to ever do that. You could have given him a perfectly round rump, but somebody was like, hold it. Let's not uh, cut any corners here. Whether I steal from people in Bruma or whether I steal from people in the Imperial City, it don't matter. None of this matters. <clears throat> so despite all the new games coming out, I've just been replaying the Metal Gear games. I have spent many years sort of liking Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 and really liking 3. I gotta say, this go around, I'll like replay them every couple years. This time, Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 clicked with me so hard. Like, I have appreciated those games so much more now that I've replayed them like well into adulthood to the point where I finished playing Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 and both of them and I replayed both of them, like, right after finishing them, just to get a better rank, which I rarely do that now, as an adult. That was something I did when I was a kid, a lot, but not, not as an adult. Thank you, Pinster, for the $10. Really appreciate that. I am, uh, I'm midway through 3 right now. Uh, and obviously 3 is great. I mean, what needs to be said about 3? But, like, I was really surprised with 2. There's something incredibly rewarding about getting good at it. Because it's a, it's a tough game, in my opinion. I would say it's probably the hardest Metal Gear Solid game. Um, and the controls are very complicated. Like, Metal Gear Solid 3, you can kind of, like, intuitively know how to play it by sitting down and just, like, getting used to it. Metal Gear Solid 2... One as well, but two to a greater extent, actually demands some level of mastery of the controls and understanding how, like, guard patrols work. Um, there's a- it's a game you actually, like, kind of have to get good at. You can't really just, like, bum your way through it. Well, you can. You can if you're, uh, you know, my personal video game, Idol DSP Gaming, you can get 75 alerts and 830 deaths and get the elephant rank at the very end, of course. You can. But it is very satisfying to, like, feel yourself getting better at Metal Gear Solid 2. Utilizing all of your tools. The amount of detail in that game. The amount of things you can do to circumvent obstacles. I, I, I don't even think there's a game to this day that has incorporated that amount of, like things in it that you could play a hundred times and still not know about and i love stuff like that the like you know finding those like you can find like porno mags in the game and it's sort of just like a novelty but it's actually like an incredibly useful tool that you like can like save your hide so many times yeah this house sucks these people don't have any Um, and the story in Metal Gear Solid 2 is just, just wild. I can't believe how well that story holds up. And in fact, I, it's aged better 
than anything. It's gotten, like, more relevant over the years. So good. How I feel about Metal Gear Solid 5? I like Metal Gear Solid 5. The story is very clearly uh, not what it should have been, in my opinion. Based on the trailers, I, I was so hyped for that game. I watched that trailer. You know the whoa one. I watched that trailer like a hundred times waiting for that game to come out. And I was just imagining like the depths that that narrative would plumb. And it never really got there for like kind of any of the topics they introduced in the trailer. The blood diamonds, the child soldiers, the sort of watching big bosses like descent. I don't really think the game did a very good job of portraying that. Well, some people have kind of like retroactively had positive feelings about the story, but I'm, I'll need to replay it. It's been a while, but I was I was disappointed. The gameplay is excellent, though. I found the gameplay very fun. As long as you don't do all of the side stuff, then it kind of wears out its welcome. Um, but the the core gameplay is like rock solid to the point where they could have released several games on that engine and I wouldn't have been unhappy. Delta Remake? I mean, I don't... I don't... It's really hard to say because they've shown so little of it, which, I mean, in some way might be... Uh worth being nervous about i guess but like i i think they have a perfectly good blueprint if they can combine some of the sensibilities of phantom pain's gameplay with just like the core experience of metal gear solid 3 i think most people would be perfectly happy with that um i've heard some people uh like decry the little bits of footage they've shown kind of looks like a hire this man type situation with the whole Unreal Engine. I actually think, uh, I think the game looks really good from what I saw. The animation of Snake walking around looks pretty good. Um, graphical fidelity obviously is excellent. Uh, pe people, people talk about Metal Gear Solid 3's art style, but I don't actually know if I know what people mean by that. Because it, it feels to me that, like, Metal Gear Solid 3 very much was striving for just pure realism. What? And, and hey, sorry, car. It feels like it was going for realism, and like the only thing that was holding them back was technology. So I don't really, I never felt like Metal Gear Solid Three had like a very strong, other than like that piss filter over everything. To me, it's a game that goes for realism, and realism will probably be what they strive for in the remake. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Two to me has a much like has a much stronger visual identity and one just by virtue of being a ps1 game like stands out more um but yeah I, I i don't know i think it's i think it could be good i don't think kojima is like a necessary ingredient to make a good metal gear solid game i think he obviously knows how to he knows how to pull together talented people But, uh, but I, I, I don't think he's like the be all end all. I don't like worship the ground he walks on or anything like that. <clears throat> so anyway, that's what I got to say about that. Metal Gear Solid 2 got me into geopolitics at 11. <laughs> I would be scared shitless playing that game at 11. That whole Arsenal gear segment, playing it late at night still creeps me out. Oh, uh, what, what did he, Kojima posted something on Twitter the other day that made me laugh. It was like, it was like the anniversary of his joining the game industry or something. And the post was like, when I started making Metal Gear games, I didn't want to do video games because I would r have rather been a filmmaker. And like, that was the entire post. <laughs> you thought he would go, go on to say, however, I'm so glad and grateful and happy, but, but it's just like, I wish I was a director. And that was like the end of the anniversary message. <laughs> I feel like he could just do that right now I'm if really he really too. wanted to. Yeah, my favorite customer. What do you got? Uh... Oh, there it is. 
That's more than I'd usually pay. Kind of likes me. You drive off. I think I can. I guess I'll just keep the flax seeds for for the future. All right. I'm glad. There we go. The gray fox will contact me. Capital. Shadow hide. But I don't like. I don't know if Metal Gear Solid 2 was sort of a combination of like factors. MGS1 has a has a great story. MGS3 has a very fun story. Metal Gear Solid 2 is right at the crossroads of so many different things that make it exceptional that like it seems to me that it's like kind of a work of brilliance in a lot of ways. And like like I, I, do, it, I don't think it's an accident. Like, Kojima must have some kind of exceptional talent in, in, in pulling together narratives that work for video games, specifically. Because, I mean, a lot of this stuff, I mean, it just looks goofy, right? If you pulled the MGS cutscenes into a movie and showed it to somebody who doesn't play video games, they'd probably think, you know, some parts were cool, but a lot of it was just kind of crazy and silly and outrageous and why is this guy shooting bees at me and what how does this make any sense type of thing um, but in the context of a video game it works like really really well especially in mgs2 the whole game just has this like discomfort running through it i think raiden says in the beginning this is like a nightmare i can't wake up from and that's like the best way of putting that story He's talented, but would never take a movie recommendation. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. He loves every movie. I've never seen him not like a movie that he's watched. Maybe he just keeps it to himself. Just because he knows there's a chance that he can, like, get mocap from some of the actors in it. <laughs> We've managed to avoid drowning. That's my absolute favorite line. You know something, Colonel? I just realized, I haven't met you in person. Not once. Keep your mind on the mission, Raiden. I don't know, I guess I'll just stand here for 12 hours till the Great Fox contacts me. Oh yeah, I saw his Criterion picks. He picked a lot of movies I've never heard of. A lot of like sort of obscure Japanese movies, so. But I mean, it'd be interesting just to see kind of what influences him, I guess. If nothing else. Do I have another level up waiting? God, I do. I'm so disappointed. It's going to make the game harder and harder. It, I should probably drop the difficulty a little bit because the amount of like swings it takes just to like dispatch single enemies at this point. It's getting to a... Luther Broad's boarding house. It's getting to a critical moment. If you've got the room's up the stairs, and it'll be the first door on your left. Yeah, the idea of, like, an AI that recontextualizes information because there's just so much of it. There's so much of it, and so much of it is, like, partly true, but not true enough to be allowed to enter society. Like, a lot, it's, that stuff is just like, oof, man. It hits. It hits close to home. Uh, yeah, a little more athletics. Probably use more fatigue. Oh God. Nope, nothing. I'm eating. I have another message from the Gray Fox. You must be very important. The Gray Fox requests a meeting. Please travel to Gamradel's house in Shedenal. Yeah, the cracks. The cracks are showing. Okay, you want to know something crazy for anybody who hasn't played Metal Gear Solid 2? So this game came out in 2001. 
in the in the beginning section of the game there's like a bar where you can like shoot bottles and you can the glass breaks at the point of the impact of the bullet which is already pretty cool not only that there's a bucket of ice cubes and you could shoot the bucket of ice cubes over and the ice cubes all individually fall onto this table you have my and the ice cubes individually melt and not only do they all individually melt after you knock them over, they melt depending on their proximity to other ice cubes on the table. And most people will never in a thousand playthroughs find this out because you'd have to find a tiny ice bucket and shoot it for no reason. But that's the like level of like granular detail they've got going on in that game. I love stuff like that. Uh, ah, the boot boots of spring heel jack. Here we go. Oh man, yeah, I, I, I've played Arx Fatalis, but it was so long ago and I never beat it. I gotta get around to trying that one again. That's like an arcane classic. The gray fox is inside. Have a seat. Look at this guy. Have a seat? On a bench? Am I waiting for a fucking root canal? We have much to discuss. I have no patience for impertinence. Maybe I should reconsider what I was about to offer. He kind of looks cross-eyed with the mask on. Come, we have much to discuss. He's forgiven me. Further use of Sevilla's stone has revealed that I need another special item to move forward with my plans. I need the boots of the spring boots of Heel spring Jack. Jack. He is a famous thief that died some 300 years ago. Legend has it that he was buried with his boots on. Find out where spring Heel Jack is buried and bring me back those boots. Will you do this bring for me? Bring me back the boots. Pays well. I'll play button games with you. Capital. The Earl of Imbil is the only descendant of his line that I've been able to locate. Okay, his name even... is Jockvin, and he lives somewhere in the Imperial City. There... Even the part in Metal Gear Solid Shut 2 up. at the end when all the New Yorkers start going to work after Arsenal Gear crashes into the city, like, even that is like, it's like funny, but it's also like weird because it's really intentionally shot. The streets are, it's a ghost town. Lit Wall Street is empty. There's no cars, there's no people. And then all of a sudden, for no reason at all, everybody starts walking to work and doesn't notice this gigantic uh thing crashed into uh whatever it is i can't remember the name of the whatever state building they have on on wall street but like it's like why does it like at what point is is this like raiden's like perception being like manipulated and as at what point is it uh like reality like objective reality unfolding that type of thing is always like the minute it, like when they start calling into question like Raiden's ability to like understand the world around him that's where it all starts getting really like interesting the fact that like his nano machines or whatever can be manipulated to show things that he wants to see or hear i'm so hungry i know of him yeah. would you loan me a few coins this is a, this is oblivion to a T. I just heard this voice actor as the Gray Fox three seconds ago. And now three seconds later, he's a different character putting on a ridiculous like, Oh yeah, mate, give me 10 coins in and I'll tell you all about the Gray Fox. But it's like, there's also five different accents he does in this conversation. Oh, you are most gracious and... The Earl of Imbil has a home in the Talos Plaza, facing the. No, now Plaza. he's not even his mouth's not even moving. Oh, he he's just done talking. One. Keeps to himself mostly, only goes out after dark. <laughs> a real night owl. Well, that's the thing, Keyblade Master. That's the thing. That's what's Blessings interesting about it. Is hard. like. I feel like that is an interpretation you could take, and I mean, I I would have to like really like dig into this game and the dialogue and the codec calls to really like no but at the same time there has to be some element of it that's real because kojima went on to like extrapolate on it massively in um 
Metal Gear Solid 4, like the, the idea of the Patriots has to be real. The idea of like Arsenal gear is obviously real. There are elements of it that are real, but also so much of it is fake because they're just trying to like, I don't know, see what the what Arsenal gear is capable of. It's 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 wild. Can't believe nobody see. Uh oh, little eyeball. Okay, there we go. Everything will everything will be fine. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. <clears throat> Look there for clues. I love that this guy's gonna have a convenient note talking about Oh my ancestors, Spring Heel Jack. He's buried in the cemetery. I just wanted to write this note so as to remind myself that he's buried in the cemetery. Capital. The, wor the hardest part of Metal Gear Solid 2 is when Snake and Otacon are like, let's go find Arsenal, and Raiden's like, yeah, and Snake's like, no, not you. It's like, oh, come on. Let him come along. Doesn't he deserve to... to tag along with you? All right. Let's try the basement first. Yeah, that, that handshake was, that was an awesome scene. Even Jess had to stop what she was doing and stand at attention while that scene was going on. Yeah, I recommend it. Metal Gear Solid 2 as well, like, it's a quick playthrough. Like, I, it took me, I, I like, and I was really, like, rusty. It's, it's a, it's a tough game to, like, get back into. So my first playthrough, like, coming back to it took me, like, eight or nine hours. And then I played it again to get a better rank, and uh, I skipping codec calls and cutscenes, I think I beat it in like just over three hours. It's pretty quick, all things considered. Yeah, you, you, you know a game is, like, getting to you when, like, I played Metal Gear Solid 2, I kind of, like, when I first played it, I kind of, like, put up with the gameplay. I didn't really like the fact, like, the whole overhead view with the first person aspect of it. And I never really played a game like it before, so you can kind of hopefully see where I was coming from. But, like, I found it so much fun to play that I was, like, doing the VR missions and the Snake Tales this time around just because I, like, enjoyed the gameplay of it. Oh man. Alright, let's see. Maybe I can. Oh, he's got an another hatch. Oh, this is Metal Gear Solid. I need to uh hold him up here with a, a bow and arrow. Jeez. Too many, too many damn hard lock picks. Remember the basics of CQC in oblivion. That's going, and then dying anyway. Another hard. I guess you know. Master level locks for a master level thief, such as myself. Ooh, that's actually the first ring I found. That really gets me going. Uh, well, actually, the jewel of the room air is not bad. Weather warrant. Can you have two? All right, yeah, it's fine. I don't need my 15% frost resistance. Turn off the camera, let me pick locks. 
Yeah, Jess, uh, legend has it that she's very good at Oblivion's lockpicking. I don't think I'm, like, bad at it. Alright, you know what? A lot of people don't even, like, uh, understand it. They'll just hit the, uh, auto unlock button and kind of, like, reload if they run out of lockpicks. I guess this wasn't the right room. Or was it? Maybe the Earl himself? Hello. I was just admiring your jewelry box. What the hell? What do you want? I'll I don't think I've ever ask. seen an enemy in this, or a character in this, like, animation state while talking before. Take everything, just spare me. <laughs> the family so crypts are under the house. They give me the creeps. I have the key. Take it. Just don't hurt me. Oh! <laughs> He's gained confidence. Go ahead. Alright. Let's be friends. How about that? He loves joking and coercion. Okay. That's a bit no more. You're frightened. <laughs> Good. Blah blah blah. What a bore. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Whatever you want. Don't make <laughs> Good. I doubt you really mean that. I accept. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Hmm. <laughs> Good. You're pathetic. You're pathetic. That's a bit of... Yeah, I get it. We're good pals now. See? All you need is a little... Tell some jokes. Coerce. Per, you know, it's... It's all it takes. I'm, I'm Everybody has the capacity to be good friends with a home intruder. You just need to smile and... Give them the, your best possible joke. <clears throat> yeah, the, uh... The lockpicking in Oblivion, I... I definitely prefer it to the... Skyrim style that, or Fallout 3 rather, that sort of pervaded the open world RPG genre. What was I playing the other day? I was playing a game and it was like they, the, it was literally that lock picking they put in the game, like with no differences whatsoever. Damn, what was it? I can't even remember now. Too many games these days. Oh, it was Terminator Resistance. It's just the identical lockpicking system. Time to find those boots. These boots are awesome. It's a shame that you have to, like, give them back to complete the mission. I say it every stream, and I'm going to say it again. Two Worlds 2 lockpicking, my favorite system. Two Worlds 2 has high highs and low lows. And, uh... Lockpicking is one of those highs. I'm gonna play Robocop. I do, I do plan on it. It does look pretty cool. You don't have to give the boots back? Doesn't that just, like, keep the, uh, quest line in, like, a state of limbo? That's a good one. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I totally forgot about that. This makes, this makes me very happy. skill 
don't break the boots and you get to keep them? Oh man, I don't know if I do though. Probably don't. Acrobatics is only 48, it's pretty low. Oh, we're, we're at the point of finding Dwarven Greaves. That means fights from here on out are gonna be worse than ever. Can reverse pickpocket them too. Oh. Man, there's a lot of ways to hang on to these damn boots. What's that? <clears throat> Whatever it was, it's gone now. Oh, for the love of God. Your presence here will not be tolerated. This guy's gonna just Oh put you gotta be kidding me. The vampire disease? I guess I probably should have waited until the fight was over. Like, the fights are ridiculously hard now. <laughs> I can just get my ass kicked. I gotta drop the difficulty. This is too much. Try that. No, not vamp lamp. That'll just make the entire playthrough annoying. Imagine playing Oblivion, but you can't go outside. Does it? Does that sound fun? Summoning monsters, yeah. I don't know, maybe we'll have to start investing in conjuration or something. Let's see. Weakness to disease. That's a sweet spell. Can't wait to use that one. My my armor also sucks. Sucks major ass. So I'll probably have to get some more armor. Just a dollar a day, you can feed this chest. <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars. That's two meals. <laughs> huh? Oblivion without going outside, that's <laughs> why so I got born of Starfield. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, the game had a lot of, uh, clicking to go places in it. Don't see me. Oh, good. Just hoping there'd be another hard lock pick. Let's probably just go to them to open the door. Yeah, well. noises really enhance the experience. Ooh. Well, well. I can't afford to be lugging around heavy armor in a cell, or can I? Hmm. All right, all right. I'll take it for now.
I wonder if I'm a high enough level to do any of those Daedric quests yet. Oh. They buried him with his diary? Wait, what? Oh. Right. I knew a man who was a great thief. He dared steal from Nocturnal himself. How odd that I cannot seem to recall his name. I think we were friends, but I'm not certain. In three days, I will venture into... Terran's... Farron's? Terran's crypt? Grave robbing alone is dangerous. Maybe I should try to find a partner. Didn't I once know a great thief? I begin the second entry in this... Okay, I was a whole fucking uh, dazzle dazzle song and dance here. Uh, I just have to bring this back to... Oh, I actually... They're actually gonna make me uh, do this as a quest. What is this? Morrowind? I mean, for crying out loud. Reading? <clears throat> The second entry in the second volume of my diary on a momentous day. Actually, it is night. The night when my second life begins. It will be forever night for me. I become one of the children of the night. A son to mother wolf and brother to a bat. I am Nosferatu, a vampire. Tonight is the first night of the rest of eternity. I rediscover this diary today. It has been 13 years since I last wrote in it. With an eternity before, and the blood hunger ever pulsing in my veins, there is little urgency for diaries, or much of anything. Amelia is calling to me. Amila. Am Amila Am 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 is calling to me. I must go. Has it really been 89 years since I last wrote? The pages are getting fragile. I have rediscovered purpose, though it took nearly a century. I finally gained some measure of control over the blood frenzy. I think I will try to establish a life among the living uh, in one of their great cities. I'd forgotten about this diary. I won't bother to calculate how many decades it's been since I last wrote in it. The cattle of this city know me as Jack Ben, Earl of Imble. Centuries ago, I knew myself as spring Jack, the famous thief. I seem to recall having a famous partner, but his name escapes me. No matter, I have grown beyond friends and partners. I rule the night here in the city. So he is Jack Ben, Earl of Imble. Well, there you go. Oh! This guy stinks. Some vampire. Yes! Oh, and it's light armor, too. Sweet. It's probably all better than what I got, honestly. Uh, yeah, I don't need the, uh, resist poison, I guess. Man, look at that, look at that chain mail. Looking very sexy, might I add. Alright. Shit. All right, I'll drop the door of it. So now that I got the boots, my life will be better. People will finally treat me with respect. If my acrobatics were, you know, a hundred, then it, they'd be they'd be much more impressive. Gentlemen, Would you yeah, that's right. If anything, I'm going to become a vampire. 
There are dozens of us. Normal cat amount of jumping true. <laughs> yeah, they don't really give me access to much more than you'd expect from like standard I house cat. Spring heel jacks too. Do you have the boots? <laughs> don't waste my time. I'm sorry. I you found spring heel jacks too. Do you have the boots? What's with the dog in the... He's looking on. He's looking on forlorn. Capital. This may be the last piece of the puzzle. I need to spend more time with Sevilla Stone first. I am truly indebted to you. If all goes well, I may call upon you for one last task. The danger will be great, but the reward will be greater. For now, here is your reward. Let us leave Gondredal's house and go our separate ways. You're going to make me steal a we thousand gold, are you? Welcome. This dog has issues right now. Oh. <laughs> Feast your eyes. On my family. Go on. Get out of here. Go on. Get out of here. Can't you see I don't watch you anymore? A thousand gold, huh? Ah, well, that shouldn't be too tough. Stand clear. All right. What a piece of shit. Who walks up to somebody and talks like that? Hi there. See, this guy knows what's up. This is a nice... I don't know. He looks kind of prop... Like something's going on with his face. But aside from that, he's a friendly guy. Orin to Guardian of the Bridge. Do you wish to pay the toll? Hello there. I don't know you, and I don't care to know you. <laughs> Fly! Flying in the sky, cliff racer flies. So this is chaos. This is pure chaos. I don't know you, and I don't. Care <laughs> what an asshole! He just goes to this world tour. He's I going around town letting you. everybody know. <laughs> See, now he's putting everybody in a bad mood. What did I do? Can I help you, brother? <laughs> Just walk in and see a bunch of fucking dishes flying all over the room. <laughs> Why do you bother me? Go away. What is that weapon you're holding? It looks like something you'd buy at a gas station candy you. counter. May you be forever blessed. What's I've heard what? that Hill the Tall knows a lot about alterations. <laughs> what a and weird conversation. They're like... <laughs> I heard he learned about alterations. <laughs> cranking his neck. too scared to fight. Pathetic. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. What a hairstyle. I don't usually see mohawks where the person has like male pattern baldness and also a mohawk right down the middle like that. This guy's rocking whatever whatever this is.
Oh, fakes. Should have known. Uh, I just got to steal 200 bucks worth of stuff here. Whoa, that's menacing. I don't like the way shadows are cast through walls in this game. Oh. Hi. Oh. And Here we go. It was all in an uproar. First the chapel attack, now the prophet ranting about the end of the world. By the gods. No doubt. We're all talking about the emperor. <laughs> this is awkward. We have no emperor and no heir. That's never happened before. I suppose we should all be worried. Oh? I've heard that Hill the Tall knows oh. alterations, how to cast shields and that sort of thing. I heard he learned about alteration because he's too scared to fight. Pathetic. Go on. Poor Tavella. This, this is an endless conversation. They've got eight topics they gotta get through in this this conversation. I hope nothing bad has happened to him. So long. Goodbye. <laughs> is inspecting the inspecting the crown molding of the fighters guild everything okay join the guild what happened in here we came in and dishes exploded all over the place jeez I wanted him to trigger another conversation on the stairs. <laughs> well, yeah, literally watching paint dry. They don't. They, no weapons? Nothing? going on is this thing alive it's like gibbering this is a hack dirt citizen oh man oh my goodness this is beyond threatening at this point whoa okay okay that's all you need to say man i don't really need any more evidence that i'm in trouble than that Woof. Yeesh, i'm out of here okay let's find another place to rob i guess Did he say say it? Say it. Thanks, XL Freaks. Glad to hear it. That's money in the bank. Oh, man, I forgot about the painting quest. Is that in Shaden uh, Hall? I feel like it is. Perhaps in Rythalai Sandus or whatever. I'm Tavella Lepandus. I apologize that I can't give you the respect a guest in my home would normally receive, but I am at my wit's end. I'm sorry to be so forward, but I desperately need your help. It seems that my husband, Rythe, has gone missing, and I just don't know what to do. Sounds like a mystery. Yes, my husband is the Rythalai Have you heard of him? 
There's no time for idle chatter. <laughs> you haven't? That's strange. Wright is known far and wide as one of the best painters in all Cyrodiil. His specialty is setting the great forest to canvas. The paintings look so amazingly real that some say they can see the trees sway in the breeze. That's just a silly notion, of course. But it just goes to yes. show the attention to detail. Yes, of course, that was not movies. foreshadowing at all. Just a silly notion. Yes, Wright likes to work in his studio with the door locked so no one can disturb him. He usually comes out to eat dinner and sleep. <clears throat> but two days ago, he didn't come out at all. At first, I wasn't worried. He does that occasionally. But when he didn't come out for a full day, I unlocked the studio with a key he said to use only in emergencies. It turned out he wasn't inside. I'm sure he never left that room. So I have no idea where he's gone. Please help me find Wright. Have I you tried seeing if he was I'm hiding so behind worried. the easel? Oh, thank you so very much. Let's just Here's walk in. <laughs> it's just a guy with a lampshade on his head in the corner. If you need me, I'll Damn, he is gone. Place. Do hurry, I miss my love so much. Do be careful. Uh, no. Hmm, what about... This doesn't seem to be relevant at all. Nope, not behind there. Your husband exploded. I'm gonna take a quick break in real life. Uh, and then we'll get on with the painting quest, so I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
It's not true, by the way. I was filling up my coffee. Jeez. I get no respect around here, I tell you. Oh. After touching the painting, Wraith has been working. I suddenly found myself standing in a strange forest. Oh, I guess I should make that my active quest. <laughs> he looks pissed as hell. Look at that face. Oh my god. Get out of my painting. <laughs> Return from whence you came at once. <laughs> it's a memento mori he's gone <laughs> he's leaving my man has no concept of how to move to the north cardinal directions are an enigma startled me <laughs> yes yes i love oblivion where did you come from you look real enough you must be from the outside oh thank goodness someone finally came while i'm overjoyed to see a friendly face i'm afraid i have some bad news for you you're stuck here like i am walking in small circles like for that, eternity but if it wasn't for that annoying thief we wouldn't be in this predicament. I was in my studio when a Barsma wearing dark clothing accosted me. <clears throat> Before I could call for help, he knocked me unconscious. When I came to, I found that the door to my studio was still locked and that the thief had snatched my paintbrush. That's when I saw it. There was something on the canvas of my painting that I hadn't put there. It looked somewhat like a troll. But it was badly done. Then it hit me. The Bosma must have leapt into the painting, then painted guardians inside to protect himself using the brush of true paint. Tell me all about the brush of true paint. Yeah, I gotta get this guy, I gotta get this scowl off his face for one this thing. Better be good. Why does he hate me so much? Why does everybody have a big what problem? A wonderful compliment. Oh, I have a racial bias against Khajiit. Okay, he doesn't like coercion or choking. Is that so? Not funny. Not even a little bit. That's kind of funny. Please, I'm embarrassed. But... Oh, please. Man, I'm getting some bad ones Goodness. here. Goodness. What can I... Rem Is that so? I love boasting and admiration. What a wonderful compliment. Hmm. Your... Remark, I uh, see. It's got to be better. Yeah, there we go. That's a little, that's more neutral. I can live with this. I knew the secret of my success would be revealed one day. I can tell you all about the brush if you like. No, thanks. <laughs> Very well. The brush showed up several years ago in the possession of an artist who was serving in the Arnesian War of 396. It seems an air and fireball had exploded next to him, and he lost the I can't use stop of looking at his arms. teeth. He was a stubborn man who didn't want to give up his talent. Being a devout follower of Debella, he prayed to her for something that would allow him to express himself once more. She heard his plea and gifted him with the brush. It said the bristles of the brush are the bristles from of the brush. <laughs> you have to roll every R, that my man. injured man was my father. He passed the brush on to me, and I intend to pass it along to my kin one day. Did you want to know how it works? <laughs> That's a rhetorical question. I'm going to explain. The brush allows the artist to paint from within a canvas. It opens a portal into which the artist may enter to paint things life-sized. All the painter has to do Sounds is like... have the brush in his possession, and whatever he imagines appears in the canvas. All right, that makes more sense. Of course... I like to wave it around anyway. It makes me feel more like a legitimate painter. That put a big smile on his stupid face. 
Unless you can defeat those painter. painted trolls, we have no chance of getting the brush back. Well, these hideous, uh, badly painted trolls. The trolls that the thief painted seem to have turned on their creator and killed. This, this is just uh, the looks like the long wrists. dark. This art style in this the area. The creatures are now loose all over the forest and in the clearing where I was still working. The brush is on the body of the Bosma thief there. I will not oh, be able I've always to help. said. I am not don't a warrior. Rub the body of the Bosma. Take bottles of turpentine. They might help. Do be careful. All right. I'll have to remember to remove. Be cautious, friend. I'm stuck. I can't. I can't move. Any luck yet? <laughs> what the hell kind of a question is that? Be cautious, friend. I gotta like dislodge myself here. I can just uh oh no, you were kinda helping actually. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and uh uh Oh I'm oh I'm wow. I didn't even notice what a dip. Uh I can't get rid of the staff of burden to ease my burden. Um Gonna... Do I have any boots on? It's not. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I had the spring heel jack boots. Probably don't need the sack cloth pants so much. Hmm. Uh, tasty. Oh man, what a shitty troll who drew this. Some idiot who doesn't know how to make trolls look not stupid. Horrible trolls. The worst I've ever seen. I looked at the canvas and had to shield my eyes from the terrible trolls. He painted them with the anatomy understanding of a third grader. Despicable. Do I have to coat my bow in turpentine? Uh, uh maybe, yeah. They look terrible. Why, the trolls he painted are just the Oblivion model trolls with a different texture applied to them. Unlike my trees, which have nothing to do with Oblivion's base graphics. Oh, man. Should have turpentined this thing. Hey! Thanks, Bane of Orion, for the $10. Caught the golden sun video. Interesting to see differences between you and Josh Drive Hayes' opinions. Actually, to be honest, I have not seen his video uh, on Golden Sun, but uh, yeah, I'm interested to check that out. I know it is a game with uh, a large variance of opinions. But thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate that a lot. I really like Josh Strive Hayes' videos from what I've seen, though, by the way. Uh, I, I don't have too much time to, like, check out a lot of the longer-form videos these days since I'm always uh, kind of working on stuff myself, but I've watched... Uh, I watched a few of his videos. His Eternal Ring one seemed really entertaining. Seems like a really good, uh, really good content creator. Oh my god. Even the... Even the, um... Lowering the difficulty is not enough to get me out of this... Out of this mess. this i want to save my turpentine oh trolls heal oh never mind hmm. where's that heal minor wounds hurry it on
Yeah, he does a lot of MMO stuff, and MMOs are MMOs are hard to review, especially if you're like trying to make a like like get a video out in a reasonable amount of time. Like an MMO, I feel like is the kind of thing where like you like you got to have a very like intuitive understanding of how people who do like it feel about it to like give a good review. I've never attempted it, but that's uh, it seems it seems pretty pretty difficult to do and that's kind of like his bread and butter is MMOs. I saw that he did one on Sherwood Dungeon that I'll have to check out cuz I remember playing that piece of shit in the computer labs at school when I was a kid. Loading area. Oh man. A bad place when my like 48 gigs of RAM are struggling with oblivion. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Why are these like more gelatin than all the other enemies? Also, I know that there's only like four dungeon tracks in the entirety of Oblivion, but I feel like this is not the most appropriate music to be playing here. This does not evoke feelings of, uh, an oil oil painting landscape. And bow and arrow is like the way to go. Oh shit. I'm out of arrows. I think I use my good ones. I ought to start actually like paying attention to my equipment, hey? Kinda just been scooting by stealing arrows from uh from people. That was a call in my shot moment. Oh no, I leveled up. I can't get rid of the painted troll fat. What if I need it? Let's eat some crab meat and some Daedra heart. Well, no, those, those might be good. Oblivion's encumbrance system is a game of, I might need this someday. Can't get rid of the robe of glib tongues. I mean, come on. Ye of little faith. I don't die, okay? Oh, I've got 41 repair hammers. That probably... I still have... Oh, I used the stolen ones, I guess. All right. <clears throat> Eat the painted fat and see what it does to my body. I'm trying to sneak up on these trolls, but my giant fat ass from eating the painted fat is alerting the enemies to me. Bless you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Inquisitor. I'm glad you liked it. Made with made with rewatchability in mind. The, m one of my all-time favorite videos on the platform is Red Super A's playthrough of Dark Seed One and Two. So, so uh, 
knowing how many times I've watched through that, I was hoping that some people could get the same mileage out of the, out of my video. Although I kneel, I kneel to Red Super A. Just two of the funniest guys, just off the cuff humor. They're just so clever. Blows me away how good some of the quips they come up with on the fly are. Shames me, actually. Yeah, I was really surprised to see that there was a PlayStation 1 and Sega Saturn version of Darkseed. And Darkseed 2, no less. And Mike sounds like a badass in the Japanese version of the game, too. He doesn't sound anything like... It's like this in the American version. He's like, Oh my wa, Shindaru. In the Japanese version. He's, he becomes a complete, like... Let me go paint us a way out of here. All right. Good work. I gotta stop now this Now I can paint the portal home. After it's complete, you must go first, or else you'd be stuck in here forever. <clears throat> Follow me. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea, but... <laughs> no, no! Please don't be stuck. Please. Follow me! It starts walking in circles. No! I'm begging you to just walk and to, Let me to... go paint us a way out of here. Yeah, I'm letting you. I'm letting you, please. No, don't come back. Don't come back here. You gotta be kidding me. What do, what do I what can I do here? What if I make him like very tiny? This doesn't it doesn't look like this that's gonna help actually. Let me go paint us a way out of here. <laughs> Pick him up. Let me go. What if I like piss him off here? By the gods, there's a psychopath on the loose! I'm sorry. If I fixed him though. Can't, the guy who's been pacing in circles for like six days is calling me a psychopath because I've had enough of his horse shit. No time to talk. Let's go home. Yes, diplomacy, baby. <laughs> You've severed a major artery. We better hurry. No, don't go back. Don't go back. Just paint us away home. Don't go back to the. Please don't go back to your spot. I'm begging you to not go back. Don't, no, don't. Please, he is going back to his spot again to walk in circles again, isn't he? Bro. I, I'm fucking, I, I, I'm gonna have to do the advancing uh, Let me go paint us away out of here. Oh, shut up. Shut your mouth already. It's so over. I have to go to the end of the painting? Oh, no. He's doing it. Okay. So shooting him... What's the right move? <laughs> Look what you've done. Now I have to go back to my nagging wife. No time to talk. Let's go home. Yeah, no shit. You're preaching the choir. You first. <laughs> You're back and you've got an arrow Tibet. sticking out of your Right. Oh my love. You're home safe. I was so afraid. <laughs> if it wasn't for my friend here. <laughs> if it wasn't for my friend here, oh, I've turned into a door. Must need food and rest. <laughs> I will rest. But I must take care of our guest first. Oh God! <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. you have I must a good take care of our guest first. Home. Door opens. Never He's looking at me. Like he's ready to kill me. Here, what does "take care of our guest" mean? <laughs> a token of our friendship. It's not much, but perhaps it will help you in the future. 
All I oh, ask I'll rest. Is to but I have to take care of our guests first. If word gets around that I have it, I'm afraid more than a lone cut purse will visit me. <laughs> all right, all right. Safe journey, Sergio. <laughs> Bye. All right, I got the apron of adroitness. Adroitness. Adroit. <clears throat> Fortified agility. That's very. That's a good look. That's good. I like uh, Lamp as like the chef at a summer camp style look. All right, I've had enough of the copperhead. <laughs> You're so used to your own cackle, you can't even detect it. Here we go. Now we're cooking. Okay. Uh, with that out of the way. Oh, I'm, I was stealing stuff. Right, I was stealing stuff. I remember. Stay pantsless? All right, fine. But if I start dying really, really quickly, the pants are going back on. Wait, have I already robbed this house? It's easy to get mixed up. <clears throat> Alright, well I'm gonna rob a store. Stores have lots of things in them. Conventional wisdom would dictate. Oh, you get your rhythm mech messed up. It's all, it's all over. <clears throat> Particularly valuable books. Hmm. shelf almost came down on me shitty $20 Ikea MDF shelf almost crushed me nope the Argonian account Welcome, welcome to everybody who popped in. I see several new names in chat since last time I looked. So let this let this be your official welcome. I'm stealing things. Because I'm a good thief. Oh, baby. Keep your fingers to yourself, thief. Sorry. Is that uh is that guard worthy? Oh. Why? Okay, I guess I just don't have good enough uh, pickpocketing to make this work. <clears throat> what time is it? Oh, man. Stealing time's almost over. Damn it. Damn it. Yes. Fuck. Oh. 
Oh! I could weep. My streak has ended. make this snappy. Oh man, this place really sucks. Oh yeah, I got all the tan cups and uh... oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it's fine for me to be down here. All right. No problem, I guess. I mean, do you really need, like, an entire crate dedicated to holding your pair of oiled linen shoes? Like, you'd think these people would, uh, kind of simplify their life a little bit. 18 crates with, like, a pair of tongs in them. Hey, what's up, Wrench2? Didn't notice you come in there. I don't think I'm at the I'll be at the thousand gold threshold, but I think it'll be close. Maybe I will. Might have some healing potions that are worth a, a few. I'm really tired. Can we <laughs> there. get on? You gotta get the good angle. Yeah, my favorite customer. What do you got? I think I can move this item for you. I th uh, I'll try not selling my last strong potion of health. See if I can make it work. I think I can move this item. Oh yeah, I'm. I, I got to be past thousand gold now. I think I. I'm glad. Shadow hide you. Wait, did it just say how much I fenced? Yeah, there we go. Excellent. I guess I'll go level up. Go away. Maybe be approached in the night. <laughs> go away. Is my infamy that high? Do people know that I'm a piece of shit? 20, 20 infamy. I don't really, relative to what, I don't know what's a good or bad infamy score, but it's, I'm definitely a lot more infamous than I am uh, famous. Hello. What can I do for you today? This guy's a sweetheart, though. I've got a room. Right then. Good journey to you. Uh, is one hour long enough to be accosted? So we'll find it. Hmm. A little more care per personable, charismatic, if you will. Okay, I'm not being I'm not being approached. V. Maybe a good long 12 hour nap will do it. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's it. That's it. I have another message from the Grey Fox. The Grey Fox requests a meeting. Please travel to Atralo's house in the Imperial City Elven Garden. May Shadow hide you. Okay. The whole town just arrived by the sounds of it. Boy, oh boy. Do not converse with them, have you say. Good day. Good Okay, good. What is it? Oh, re switch partners. It's like speed dating. He was caught stealing gold and now he's in jail. Say you're a piece or stand aside herself with grief. All right. I've overstayed my welcome. It's good to see you again. You just oh, whatever. You too. Speed. <laughs> Everybody's got a problem. The Argonian accent sounds like, uh, vaguely like Eastern, Eastern European, like Romanian, maybe? I don't know. Hello. It's me, Argonian man. Little Count Dracula, if you will. <laughs> I want to be able to walk down the stairs in style like that. Ah, yes. A guild brother in search of a fence? Oh, this is the guy. This is the fence. Or, or not. He looks like he doesn't buy things, so. Shadow. Ah, yeah. That's weird. Right here. But like, you're not. What? Um, I guess he. I guess maybe he only works at certain times a day. Hide. Oh, whoops. Wait, is, is this? No, not the right house. Whoopsie. Hi there. Theater kid's idea of a Romanian accent? Well, that's going to be 99% of people's idea of Romanian accent because we only ever hear it, uh, the gray fox is impressions of it. What happens if I do this? Thief. Oh, well, thief! Well, you can't yell thief at me and be mad. Somebody, help! Come quickly! Oh, quickly <laughs> fired a carrot back. at me! What the hell? Stop, thief! Thief, scum! Somebody, help! Come quickly! Stop, thief! Stop! Somebody, where is he thief. sitting? It's all over, <laughs> lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I'll take any But the gray fox is behind me. The gray issues. fox. The guy you've been searching for. He's got posters, wanted posters, all over the Imperial City. He's right here. Look past me. I'm begging you. Should have paid the fine. <laughs> Don't get me in between this. <laughs> Stay away. You can't be upset about the thievery right, okay 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 <laughs> space <laughs> you come back he's already throwing carrots around angrily A burglar. We've got a burglar. <laughs> That's amazing. And you just know the guard is coming any second. It gets crazier every time. Are you ready for one last great heist? <laughs> Does it involve taking a carrot from you and incurring the wrath of the Imperial City Guard? Because if so, no, I'm not ready. This is the big one. This is the heist that will be written about and talked about for decades to come. 
We are going to steal one of the Elder Scrolls from the Imperial Palace. Elf are you thief. Ready for this challenge? There is no buyer. This is for glory, not for money. Our names will become legend. I also have a personal need for this particular scroll. As for your compensation, I ask you to trust me. If my plan works, you'll get a reward worth far more than mere money. Glorious! This is too tough for me. That is too tough for me. Capital! I have worked for 11 years planning this heist. Sevilla's stone provided the last bit of information I needed. What is the plan? The Elder Scrolls are kept in the Imperial Palace, behind a door that cannot be breached. Sevilla's stone has revealed a path around this I door. think I should start the Dark Brotherhood so I can you get that sneaking armor the and then do this quest. Once used My sneaking's good, but it's not great. Emperors. It has been forgotten for centuries. To unseal the entrance, you must sneak into the basement of the palace and activate the glass of time. Whatever that is. <laughs> activate the glass of time. In the Imperial sewers. Here is the key for the gate to that section of the sewers. I picked the pocket of Okato himself to get it. Wow, Okato himself. My scrying with Sevilla's stone has provided clues, but not the details. I know the tools you will need there, but not the obstacles themselves. Why the do they make him look cross-eyed in the cowl? To to Don't they realize place. that that undermines his, like, badassery? Capital, you will start the heist at once. He's the only way to unlock the final door. Take them both. Once you're inside the palace itself, you need to find the reading room. The blind priests will deliver a scroll to you there. I arranged for the notable Celia Cameron to want to read a particular elder yeah, scroll. Yeah, he's he's not a very Don't like imposing her. figure. However, she will That's be for sure. unavoidably detained. You will take her place do not speak to the priests they are blindfolded the problem they with the cowl and oblivion is that it's gigantic it just makes his head look huge as it's not like a thin cloth I am like it's blood price for it's supposed to look like a, heist. However, I like a cowl like an executioner like a medieval executioner would wear but those are just like you draped over your face it's not like this it just looks like it's pre-shaped for his head and he kind of thumps it on in the morning I've written it down for you in this book. I've chosen you because you are the best. Good luck. Somebody, help! Come quickly! You treacherous little... You treach... You tre... Stop! Thief! Put that back, you worthless... Stop! Thief! Somebody! Help! Come quickly! We've got a burglar! You treacherous little filcher! Somebody! Help! Thief! You won't get away with this! <laughs> yes, I will! <laughs> the idea of me touching a bread and then running away while the Grey Fox stands over his chair and goes, You won't get away with this! I'm just running away as fast as I can. This is the heist of the century. That your Elder Scrolls shit is nothing on what I'm about to do. <laughs> I'm here to you won't get away with this, you treacherous little filcher! Anyway, how'd you uh, fare in stealing that literal Elder Scroll? How's that going? <laughs> the audacity of such a theft is to stand. I hate it when my quest journal tells me how I'm supposed to feel. You're amazed by what he said. You're truly astounded. This is a game you'll be telling your friends about. Yeah, okay, it's it's cool, all right? Gray Fox has laid the plan out for me. It's not simple, but he has given me a written copy for my reference. He set aside the guild rule of blood price? Oh, okay. All right, let's go activate the glass of... T oh, no, wait, I wanted to do the Dark Brotherhood first. That way I can get their sneaky, sneaky armor.
What in God's name is going on? I've come to the wrong neighborhood at the wrong time. Why is that unicorn always jocking me when I teleport around the world map? <laughs> what the fuck is going on over there? Alright, maybe I can lose him. I'm just going to start the Dark Brotherhood for now. I'll do the Dark Brotherhood quest line uh, maybe after the Thieves Guild, since we're already so close to the end. <laughs> Take a good look. This is the harbinger of your doom. Wearing an apron. It's a fur helmet that's been, like, irrelevant in terms of, like, defensive power for the last 10 hours of gameplay. Well, I'll be a spotted snow bear. A customer. Where is he? Let me at him. The Blade of Woe. This is an odd looking dagger. Spank him. Who are you? What do you want? I ain't done nothing. Just go away. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just crumpled to the ground. The man named Rufio is dead. It's not even hit the ground yet. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Next time I sleep in a location that uh, Lucian deems secure, let's try this. The site of the murder, will that be secure? So yup, I guess this is secure. Is How do I know this? You will find that the Dark Brotherhood knows a great many things, for you are now part of the family. Now, heed these words. The slaying of Rufio was the signing of a covenant. The manner of execution, your signature, Rufio's blood, the ink. As a speaker of the Black Hand, I directly oversee a particular group of family members. You will join that group and fulfill any contracts given. You must now go to the city of Chaden Hall, <laughs> to the abandoned house near the eastern Good. wall. Almost hear Wes Johnson stopping and looking at the script there. The black door. You will be asked a question. Answer thusly. Sanguine, my brother. You will gain entrance to the sanctuary. Once inside, speak with Ochiva. <laughs> speak. We must now take our leave of each other, you and I, for there is much work to be done. You sound I'll a lot like the Grey Fox, just saying. Progress. Welcome to the family. You are now one with the Dark Brotherhood. Visit Ochiva at the Chaden Hall Sanctuary, and your new life will begin. <laughs> Just looks at him while he walks by. He's gone. Well, I'll be a spotted snow bit. You look great. Wow, thank you, John Long. Agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Oh, I'm just a mess.
I think you get the armor right away. Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Do I have to Lucian call you has told mistress me all Oshiva? About you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your... When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. Now, I've yes. kept you long enough. The Chente is waiting. You'll... Go now. Thanks for the armor. Ass clowns. <laughs> oh, it doesn't fortify your sneak that much. It's pretty good, though. Look at this. Sexy little number. Goodness. Back to the heist. Now that I look totally inconspicuous by wearing perhaps the most conspicuous outfit that's ever been put together. Remember, trespassing in the Imperial Palace is a serious crime. I'll keep that in mind, my friend. All citizens are welcome in the Imperial Palace. It's gonna be a lot of hard lock picks this time around, isn't there? Fucking kidding me. Okay. We're dealing with fools on the upside. Detect life would probably be pretty handy right about now. They just keep this in the basement, like with the storage, with the tongs and the calipers? Hey, could you, could you throw the glass of time in the storage room? It's taking up a bunch of space up here. Thought it would have a chamber or something. Citizens are welcome in the Imperial Palace. The I start jumping. I keep forgetting. I gotta jump. Remember, trespassing in the Imperial Palace is a serious crime. Do not trust beyond the door. Remember. <laughs> if you remind me one more time. Oh, and the arena too. I forgot about the arena. Probably get a pretty good gold reward at this point, since we're not level one. I used to do the arena every time the minute I got out of the sewers, but I think you get, like, worse gold rewards. <clears throat> Nobody watch. Alright. Phase one. Oh my god. Use the arrow of extrication to dispatch the crab. Alright. We're fine. I see an enemy! Warning, warning, enemy ahead. 
good thing I'm trained for situations like this. Something about watching a crab fly away after being hit with an arrow that never gets old. Oh! There's a rat leaping to the defense of the crab across the entire canal here. Does that look like a good guy to you? Uh-oh. Perfect. <laughs> Don't mind me, just burning corpses in the basement. If burning corpses in the basement is a crime, then just lock me up. This bow is not better than the black bow, by the looks of it. Sounded similar to the Roblox hurt sound? Uh oh. Nobody tell Tommy. We're gonna have trouble on our hands. Oh, jeez. Does this have a opening thing? Very hard lock, huh? Eh, might be a way back there. Let's see. Oh. Remotely. I guess, uh... Might be shit out of luck. Might have to do the very hard lock. Or perhaps... There might be another way. Uh-oh. We got zombies. We got mud crabs. We got zombies. What the? Huh? Where did this person come from? <laughs> Oh, a vampire. Oh. You'll never tow. Oh. Okay, I actually would rather that be open. That's bad. Or maybe it's not. Yeehaw. Please make Chess watch the big Lebowski after stream. Um, 
I love the Big Lebowski. I don't know if it is, like, I think she'd find parts of it funny, but as a whole, I don't think she would, like, get as much out of it as those of us who really like the Big Lebowski. I can try to coerce her into it, but I can't make any promises. Oh no, he's got magic. You should have used it before. Hello? Who's there? Who's there? Dwarven mace. Some of these uh, maces in the later weapon tiers look kind of cockamamie. Uh, they get, like, increasingly impractical. By the time you get to Daedric, it's like, alright, what person in their right What's mind that? would actually huh? wear this shit? Looks like it hurts to, like, put on. Yeah, it's true. Skyrim's, uh, Skyrim's armor is also pretty ludicrous. I think the only one where Daedric is, like, basically just sort of, like, looks actually like a person could wear it was Daggerfall, maybe? I think it's basically just, it's like a regular set of armor, except it's, like, red. I'm not saying it's not cool to have a bunch of random spikes and shit in your armor, but, you know, I don't know, it's a little out of place. I actually don't remember what glass weapons look like in, uh, Skyrim. Can I sneak attack the ghost? Yup. He got so spooked, he fired his ectoplasm out. Hmm. Uh. These ghosts are, like, facing the wrong way. Man, the whole army of the undead is waiting for me in these sewers. Is this skeleton's patrol done? Fellas, please. It's a greater power. All right, well, maybe you don't want to use that yet. Oh, there he goes. I've been watching the wall very closely. Ah. The end boss. Why do I hear like... Oh. <laughs> Will not get into the hole. Oh. Never mind.
Oh man, how am I going to get the drop on this ghost? Oh! That was an ancient ghost. That's why he took two hits with a dagger to kill. This is quite an elaborate dungeon for this area. I feel like I gotta turn the difficulty up a little bit. Some of these enemies are kind of just, you know, a little too, too easy. Find the Oblivion sweet spot. All right, now instead of taking two hits, they take seven. That was from like a pixel's worth of the difficulty slider. Remind me to get my hands on some of those later. The iron arrows can only carry you so far in Oblivion. And by that I mean till the end of the game. Do I know the paintbrush trick? Uh I don't I don't think so. Is this like an oblivion technique? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Oh man, I've never been so nervous in all my days. <laughs> Little Metal Gear Solid here. Damn it. They straight up just have these ghosts like waiting. <laughs> all right, you look this way, I'll stare at the wall. You look the other way. You can make a floating staircase with paint <laughs> Like to get to like higher uh, like ledges and stuff. That's kind of great. I didn't know that. There's a crack shot. The ancient ghosts are like significantly harder now. Yeah, I remember doing that when I was younger, HQ default. I would like, I think if you could, like, you can add more tracks to it too. And I think if you just name them like Atmosphere 5, 6, 7, 8, you can go beyond like the pre existing track numbers. You can just have as many like ambient tracks in the game as you want. You can like rip them from the Morrowind game files if you want like Morrowind music in the game. You can have Danger Zone play every time a Mud Crab sees you if you really want to kind of loses its luster after the first like 17 times but you can still do it my favorite place in oblivion is hactor it reminds me of my little village i grew up in god damn. i don't i didn't want I, I, i'm sorry you damn evil ways it sounds like you're just like a villain origin story. Hector is like, I don't know if it, if Oblivion and Fallout share like a writing team, but I've noticed that there's uh, some very obvious like kind of Lovecraft references between those games. Hector in Oblivion is definitely one such reference. Um, and a Fallout, you've got like the uh, Dunwich building, that whole segment, which pretty spooky and then the swamp the point lookout dlc which is a really really good dlc by the way has a lot of uh kind of lovecraft stuff being the whole backwoods mutated kind of crazy like redneck ghoul type situation they got going on there it's already pretty similar to uh 
Uh, man, I can't even think what the uh, Lovecraft story is called. There's like a baby that looks all weird and it grows up really fast and everyone's nervous about it. Is it the Dunwich Horror? Is that literally the name of the story I'm thinking of? I felt like it was too close to the Dunwich building that I just talked about, but I think that might actually be it. pretty spooky story. That's a good story. Man, they're running the gamut. Sewers, caves, alien ruins. It's all four of Oblivion's dungeon types are combined into one super dungeon. We've never seen anything quite like it, folks. I don't think we, I can damage him. No. Uh, good one, Eric. <laughs> I will debase you. That's kind of a weird threat. Take it back. A little secret puzzle, hey? Could take a snooze. Oh yeah, Lamp is Lamp's ah. cat. See? He's got a very human-like physique with this armor on, though, so you'd be forgiven for it. Making a mistake. Yoink. Oh, I need those Walklin stones. You don't understand. Oh, damn. I didn't know. Po what? These aren't boots at all. These are like the slippers of Spring Heel Jack. What the hell? They're like open too. These are like, it would take a very bold gentleman to be wearing something like this. Okay, well, I guess I, I can't wear the apron then. Wait, no, no, no. Sorry. I meant to put the boots on. These are some zesty slippers. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put put the uh, shrouded armor on if I really need it. Water walking, gold trimmed. <laughs> That's a weird ass name for a pair of shoes. Water walking, gold trimmed. Uh, some I guess. All right. I need that silver bowl. It drops some hammers. I really have a lot. All right. Here we go. Now it's time for some serious strategy. already worse. The marksman bonus from my shrouded armor was actually like way better than whatever the boots could give me at this point. I changed my mind.
What is what is that? That rock? Oh, is this just like Oh. I'm not really sure what the pulsing rocks are for, if anything. What is with the pose here? I appreciate the quest journal for like straight up telling me how to do things. Hmm, I wonder if the keyhole pillar has anything to do with this. Must be standing in a particular place. Hmm. Well, I don't actively see a keyhole to shoot. It's not on the rump. I don't believe Bethesda would do that. These, these little guys have anything to do with that? No. Or maybe... I don't know. It's a little weird that they're not like... F oh. No, never mind. I thought they weren't facing the same way. I don't know. I guess I'll just try shooting it and see what happens. You cannot fire this quest arrow. Oh. Okay. Hold on, let me look over the uh, very detailed step here. Most likely they have to be standing in a special place for the keyhole to open up. It will be somewhere with a clear view of this pillar. Maybe the other side? Uh, yeah, that looks like it could have some potential. These walls look like they are meant to move. Maybe the place I need to stand to fire the arrows behind them. I'd better look for a way to get through them. Okay. So it's on the right track. Hmm. Oh, maybe magic? No, okay. I'm, I don't think those things have collision at all. What the hell? What's going on? Somebody inside the, uh... This. Texture seam. Alarming. Casting makes me nervous. Hmm. Maybe the answer is closer than you think. Would you describe this cave as dank? I mean, I think the cave we were just in before was a little more dank. This could be dank. I mean, these walls look like pretty, like, moist. They, they look like there's condensation on them that Lamp could drink if he was in a desperate situation, but I don't know if I would go so far as to call the whole room dank. It's dank adjacent, for sure. Whoa. Oh, invisible walls, ha, huh, Todd? Is that how we're playing this? <laughs> Just couldn't let me have that. Perhaps the boots of Spring Heel Jack will come in handy. Actually, maybe I should check the Gray Fox's, like, note. Maybe he, uh... Maybe he said something about this situation. I'm healing, I'm healing, okay. Jeez. Uh, Bloodstained note. Lynch's instructions. Don't play the game on your fucking phone. That's all I can say. Oh, 
horse armor note? Oh, hell yeah. Diary of Spring Hill Jack. Oh, these are also things. Plan for the big heist. Here we go. It's looking for like notepad emblems. Uh, seize the arrow. Okay, yeah, it's pretty general instruction. Hmm. Well, I mean, like, these glowing crystals kind of betray a certain. I don't belong here in this. But, uh... Come on, lamp, you almost had it. Maybe this side doesn't have an invisible wall inexplicably. I, you know what? I'll take that. That's, a, that's what I would call a rare compliment. You look like a Twin Peaks character. I, I wear that gladly. Okay, you can't really, like, steer in midair very much. Maybe if you've got better acrobatics. Yeah, <laughs> lamp. Alright, alright, alright. I, I don't think you're supposed to go there. statues are completely complete no collision detection on these bad boys oh unless you're walking into them with this obelisk no nope. Or something onto the plate. I don't think you can throw anything in Oblivion, unless there's some kind of control thing that I'm just not aware of, but I'm pretty sure that you can't. It looks like this thing is meant to raise up to take you high, uh, but I don't know uh, what to shoot or whatever to bring me up. Maybe if I shoot enough arrows at the plate. Eventually, it'll be weighed down. I don't think that's gonna work. Does it see? It doesn't kind of seem like this thing's like meant to raise, maybe. And then you can just kind of like smoothly. Oh no, there's doors on either side. It would have to be the doors. <clears throat> oh, you know what? There's a hole in those doors. Is it possible that you can shoot an arrow through the hole? I don't know what good that would do, but... Hmm. Well, it definitely works to shoot a hole through it, but... Or shoot through the hole, that is. But I don't think that that's relevant here. Only get the gap gun, yeah, true. That would that would deal with this in a big hurry. Okay. Get these doohickeys. Maybe uh something closer to the entrance where I came in. I feel like they wouldn't place the solution to the puzzle very far away. Yeah, gate is open remotely. I did see that. I did see that, but what constitutes the remote in this case? I'm just not sure of. Very. Oh. I literally didn't even notice that there was doors on the side there. <laughs> oh, I'm colorblind, so... Come on, haven't I suffered enough? Is 
that relating to this? Or is that something in this room? The plot's really thickening by the second. Oh man, speaking of thickening, better put some clothes back on. map here. I don't know. I feel like it's got to be this, or maybe there's a room on the other side, and or both. All of... Epochs. This is, uh... This is a lot of, like, pop and circumstance for, uh... Uh, great. If it is, in fact, the solution. Black bow. Sure. So many Welkland stones. Is Oblivion the greatest game of all time? No. That's all I can say about that. But it's pretty fun. Yeah, I guess it was just for treasure? Take a thorough look around here. Oh, no, there's more. Durr. Epic music as he kind of lumbles his way over to me. Second greatest game of all time? Mm, I'm still gonna have to go with no. But you're warmer than you were before. But not by, like, a lot. Come on! Oh, man. I'm trying to rob your eternal resting place. Xbox 360 Uno. I mean, that's got to be in the running. That's a top 10 for sure. The flowers of Robert Maplethorpe on Philips CDI. How could even Bones carry that axe? Really now. Two hundred thirty seventh. You know what? I would, I would accept that without question. Because yeah, that that still means it's great. Blue sneak blue suede shoes. Hell yeah. That's what Elvis was wearing when he died on the toilet. Did you know that? 
I'm gonna assume that this button just changed my life and walked back with that knowledge. Best strip in the realm. I know. I've got like the pimp's uh, walk-in closet assortment of stuff I can choose from. I've got the robe of glib tongues. I've got the shrouded armor. I've got the blue suede shoes of sneaking. Like, I could wear a new outfit every day for the rest of my life and still have outfits that I haven't worn twice. I guess that worked. Oh boy, here we go. Oh shit. <laughs> Thank you, Sheepy. Oh man, a lot of uh, Dark Seed rewatches in chat today. I love to hear it. I love to hear it, considering the video came out, like, just a couple weeks ago, so people are, like, already re-watching it that many times, I mean. Must've hit, must've hit the spot. Blade armor is, like, a second skin. Gear is no longer damaged as swiftly from combat. Nice, that's not really that interesting, but I guess it's good. Yabba dabba 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 dabba. Back. We're back to the same old shit. Okay, I'm gonna leave the staff of burden. I really don't think I'll be needing that. Ten pounds. Ten pounds too much. I should practice with normal a few times before trying the air of extrication. That's coward. That's bullshit coward talk, honestly. One and done, that's what I say. There you go. First, first time's a charm. Trespassing in the Imperial Palace. Are you fucking kidding me? What? How? Eat this. Let me fire this quest arrow, please. I'm standing on the thing. Oh, for the love. That's my marksman at. I gotta be getting close to a decent marksman score, right? Oh, it's already at 51. Yeah, when when do I... Do you have to be at 75 to get, like, the ability to zoom in? Uh-oh. <laughs> Something don't seem right about that statue. This thing stinks. Uh-oh. It found me. I don't know how, but it found me. Aliad Longsword? Oh, I've never seen that. Oh, that's just like an elven... Something like an elven sword. Well, it's actually... Oh. I've been trolled in oblivion. A 
Okay, let's go. Everybody keep snoozing. My little angels, rest your weary heads. Only dreams of sugar plum fairies dancing. Elder Scrolls Library. Sneaking a little too good. Something's got to go wrong here. Who would disrespect the Elder Scrolls library by dropping pieces of crumpled paper on the ground? Can I just pick one up? Litter all over the place. I like that the game is like, stay in the shadows, extinguish lights. You know, it's like, you can't do that. What do you think this is, thief? Use your rope arrows to get to a higher vantage point. The engine can't handle that. Hmm, perhaps uh, a little something for me? Do I need a key? Yeah, I can just take it. What do you think? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know what that opened, but These are, these are blind monks, right? As in, can't hear me. Oh. Oh. Welcome to this holy library, Lady Cameron. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Very hard, huh? Challenge accepted. I think they may actually have explained that the blind monks use Braille in uh, a previous episode. I think they... Shockingly, uh, uh, Bethesda may have already covered that base. Yeah. Oh. I guess I'm not supposed to be here. Okay, well, uh, you know, at least I could... I proved that I could do it. Actually, uh, hold on. Let me check the... The enclosed instruction book. One more time. Let's find the Imperial Library. Arrange a particular scroll made available in the chamber. The blind monks that care for the scrolls are expecting. But you will take her place. Find the chair assigned to visitors. You must not speak or they will not. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? Don't speak. Okay. No, I've not played Lunacid yet. I have not had a chance, but I've heard a lot of people recommend it. It looks very cool. 
treasure of the century. My name shall be known across Tamriel, but this is theft. Oh, for this theft. For this is theft. Now to get it back to the great box, the way is blocked. I'll have to go upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind me. It's just Lady Cameron coming through. Oh, come on. I just unlocked the damn thing. At least it's not very hard. It's inexplicably dropped down to just hard. Patrol routes down to a T. Nice. Oh, man, that's actually a huge boon. Try reading the Elder Scroll. Is it in my... It's just, uh... I don't know, it looks like, uh... Ikea... Uh, desk fan building instructions. Unguarded. The unguarded area of the palace. Damn. It's okay. Only two tumblers fall now. Am I... Wait, is this the... Oh, no, this is not a good place. This is not a place they'll be happy to see me. Imperial Battle Mage Jagar Tharn? Uh-oh. pick up the scales. Damn it. I know the Dark Brotherhood quests are gonna give me, like, a whole bunch of uh, like, miscellaneous items I have to carry with me to get the effect. There's gonna be another, like, 30 pounds of weight I've gotta carry on me at all times. Damn. 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 Uh oh. Stop! Do stop! Die! Uh, uh. <laughs> Misusing his ash flu? Okay. Uh oh. Don't worry, I'm fine. The boots have been destroyed. Oh, I guess I could try to survive that, hey? I could try to survive that and just hang on to the boots, is what somebody was saying. Let's give it a go. Are these both gonna be... Yeah.
Yeah, I'm, I'm save scumming. I have no shame in it. Oblivion is not a game where I wear my consequences proudly. I'll be fine. Wait. Uh, see if I have anything that fortifies acrobatics. I guess not. I didn't make it. I had a potion of feather. Might be able to survive, but... Wait, maybe I can make a potion of feather. Uh, Not sure which ingredients... Allow you to make... Yeah, I'm not sure. I have anything that fortifies my acrobatics other than the boots of Springheel J? Oh, I did have a potion of feather? Oh, whoopsie. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Will that... Does, fe does feather just increase your encumbrance or does that actually make you... Like, fall more gently. Yeah, well, whatever. Guess we'll find out. Okay, yeah. I think... Yeah, I think that just makes you have more inventory space. But it was a good idea. Uh, my athletics. I think my robe of glib tongues will be doing the trick. I think I'll have to just destroy the boots. Hmm. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Yes, indeed. It's gone now. Quick saving resets your velocity. Oh man. That's such an asinine way to complete this thing, if that's true, but I kinda I kinda wanna try it just to keep the boots. Alright, let's let's uh, let's try that and see how it goes. <laughs> okay, no. Doesn't seem to work. I think I gotta just kiss the boots goodbye. I think that's it. Short of using console commands, which, you know, I'm not that desperate for 50 more points of, uh, um, acrobatics. Alright, alright. I'll play the intended way. It's like trying to sneak the gold out of uh, dead money in New Vegas. It's like, okay, you're kind of, you know, undermining the uh, thematic significance. And yet... Sweet, sweet money is so great. Hey, look at that. See? I get a little something. Blocking while jumping makes you dodge in the direction... Oh! Yes, now I can roll. Uh, see? There's always a little treat waiting for you when you do the right thing. If you cut down on the ale... Starting to see things, I am. Uh oh, I gotta get the hell out of here.
There's no knowing where I'm going. Is there a way up? No. Oh. <laughs> it is I, the vampire sorcerer. I've been waiting for you. Again with the disease. Stop healing, damn it. This is a epic battle. <laughs> All right, I gotta get rid of that uh, disease now. Okay, we're fine. It's gone. No vampire mode. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't know about these here sewers. Oh, wait. I don't think... Do I want to get... No, probably not. Oh. Well, what, I'm just going back, right? Okay, well, I guess we can just go this way. The game sometimes is, like, very intent on having you go the way it wants you to go. This rat is crazy fast. Get over here. <laughs> Take care with my bare hands. Oh, no. Oh. Please. Okay, good. Welcome back. I'm gonna leave right away. I've had to pee for like 15 minutes, so. But I did it. I stole the Elder Scroll, and no one was the wiser, except for the many rats of the sewers. Uh, I'll be right back.
I talk about way more than just forklifts and Canadian stuff, okay? I have a wide, diverse range of interests, and when you reduce it to that, you... You only make yourself look bad, all right? Speak. Thank you, thank you. Name one thing you've said that isn't Canadian. Well, I mean, I guess every word that I've said is like the intellectual property of Canada because it's come out of my mouth while I was on Canadian soil, so it's kind of impossible. What is it, citizen? The budding yarn industry? My goodness. I'm a big fan of yarn. Oh no. No doubt. You've come to the right guy if that's what you're here to talk about. Am I is it this? Hello. Yes? <laughs> Hello. Is this the Okay, I gotta check the instructions again. <laughs> it's paused on a great it's a picture of me and my son. Here, there, perfect. Just walking around with an Elder Scroll. I don't know what to do with this thing. Should the scroll retrace your steps? Deliver it to me. Of course, the chances of something going wrong with this plan are very high. Shadow hide. Supposed to deliver it to him? Is he in here? Oh, he's sitting right here. Duh. You have the scroll. I can hardly believe it. The odds were clearly against you. Capital job. Capital. I have spent seven years learning how to translate this scroll. Even so, I will need a while to decipher what I've sought so desperately. Ah, still thinking about your reward, eh? <laughs> I have not forgotten you or your loyal service to the Thieves Guild. You'll just have to trust me. Give this ring to Countess Umbranox in Anvil. Say nothing when he stops talking, his mouth her. is still slightly open. It looks really funny. She reacts to it. it may provoke anger or tears. If she asks, just tell her a stranger wanted her to have it. Then report back to Man. her reaction. I do all this work and my reward is getting to be like a liaison between you and some woman who has a restraining order against you. Paying an exposure, yeah, exactly. What is it, citizen? I'll be telling everyone about you. Oh, thanks. Oh, I can hide behind here and surprise her. Uh, something about this guy really familiar. You should be on your way by now. What do you want to know? Armand Shadow Hydu. There's something about his crossed eyes. Oh. times a charm car is finding out where i am wait what if i just wait till tomorrow wait that's the countess I don't have time for you <laughs> feeling is mutual Oh no. Alright, fuck it. Okay, hell he's gonna he's gonna get pissed if I do that. But I'm still gonna. So the countess has like locked herself in her bedroom now. Of course. 
Now that I need to talk to her. Stop! Countess! <laughs> He's running away from me. What? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Whatever it. Oh my god. Oh, the damn, the princess, the countess herself. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Samuel. <laughs> Perfect cutoff timing. Is, is she ever in here? What does she do all day anyway? What does the countess do? Oh, there we go. What can I do? I'm sorry. Oh my. Okay, fine. Sit in your Me stupid too. chair. Yes? She's getting impatient with this me. This ring belonged to my husband. He's been missing for over 10 years. For some reason, his name and face escape me at the moment. Like a fox. How did you he stole it? into the night. Do you know his whereabouts? Why are you showing it to me? <laughs> Who the hell are you looking at? Somebody off screen? My husband's wedding ring. I never thought to see it again. What I wouldn't give to see him once more. Uh, what? Oh, what? Is he smoking? What is going on? Oh my god. Of the Elder Scrolls, I name Emmer Derelon as the true thief of Nocturnal's cow. You're the grave fox? What is the, with what him standing the there? He, he, he looks like he's about to kick a pebble. Ah, shucks. I was just wondering if maybe uh, you wanted to be together, Ricky. And... I am also your missing husband. Aw. Look at him hanging his head. Is it really you? <laughs> Ten so. years I've waited for word from you. Why did you hide from me? Ten years ago, I inherited this cow from the former guildmaster of the Thieves' Guild. I became the new guildmaster. Yeah, this is some cinematography. Its curse. Whoever wears Nocturnal's cow shall have his name stricken from history. Once I donned the cow, no one in all of Tamriel could recognize me. With the cow, I became the Grey Fox. Without it, I was a stranger, even to you. You mean you were unable to return? I've stood right next to you, and you didn't even know it. I cried out to you, here I am, it's me, Corvus. But you just looked at me, confused. You have broken my heart for a second time. I cannot let the infamous criminal mastermind, the Grey Fox, become the Count of Anvil. Oh, come on. If you try to announce yourself as Corvus, I will deny you. I will deny you before the Emperor if I have to. I guessed you would say these terrible things to me. That is why I brought my friend along. <laughs> From this moment forward, I'm friend. I renounce my life of crime forever. The Grey Cowl is now yours. <laughs> you are the new Guildmaster of the Thieves' Guild. Capital! You will find that history has been altered tonight. Such is the power of Nocturnal's curse, that lifting it can alter time itself. <laughs> She's just... <laughs> just listening intently to this conversation. If Emmer Derloth had not stolen Nocturnal's cow... He's got the shakes like he's coming off a skooma or something. Such hard time. Because of the it's curse, like rocking back and he forth. was unable to operate in the normal world of business and society. He could only act as the guild's figurehead. That has been undone. If you go to the Imperial City, you will find that the Thieves' Guild has a guild hall on the site of the ruins of Daraloth. What's this about? <laughs> Fuck did I do? Thank you for convincing her to meet with me. <laughs> I don't think she's as happy about the reunion. <laughs> she looks like she's having second thoughts about this whole getting back together business. Yes. 
Sure. Go down to the chapel and you can't miss him. What is with his voice now? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Right in the center. Shadow hide you. Okay. Is this am I am I done with the is the quest going to stay in my current quests forever? I hope it just goes away eventually, but... <laughs> the Grey Foxes. Oh, there we go. Go to the Imperial City. Okay. Grey Fox, I remember that punch. <laughs> Lamp. Do you remember the feeling of the battlefield? Hurt me more, Countess. Don't be the last to read today's Black Horse Courier. Help! Help! There's a sink of Stop! Oh man. You violated the law. What's with this Pay guy's the mascara? Or serve your sentence. Your stolen good. Then pay with your bl That was me. That, I, that was Lamp staring at him, having a fantasy of what that would be like if it happened. Then he just flashed back now. Well, what the hell? Oh, okay, I guess the quest is done now. I guess it's over. The new Thieves Guild Hall, so is there anything here? Is there like... Radiant quest, or is that Skyrim only? I can command my thieves, which I didn't see any in there. You want me to wear? Oh, I'm, everyone's gonna be on my ass the minute I uh, put this thing on. <laughs> oh no! The cowl's been altered. It doesn't look quite right. Look at this thing. <laughs> this is the gray foxes. We'll have to have it a few sizes larger. <laughs> we'll have to take it to the tailor. <laughs> I didn't expect the new gray fox to have such a gigantic head. Alas! <laughs> Don't worry, we can still fix it. It'll still work. <laughs> hey, this is the eighth time he's been back. He's ripped the cowl again, just putting it on. <laughs> oh, man. Big trouble. <laughs> it's the most noticeable man in the world. Could, could he be a worse thief? You, uh, you can see him from seven miles. <laughs> the eyes look so much... <laughs> look, he, it starts out kind of sympathetic when you go low. He's like, oh, I'm the gray fox. And you go up and it's like, actually, yeah, I am the gray fox. <laughs> it's angrier as you change the angle of his eyes. That's terrifying. What, what is this now? Why are you mouthing words? <laughs> as I live and breathe, the gray fox, it's an honor. <laughs> Be seeing you. It's huge, huge cowl. You're the gray fox. <laughs> Gumpy. <laughs> As I live and breathe, the gray fox. It's an honor. Goodbye. Jess is just dying. Alright, all right, gotta go. We gotta fix it. Saw the gray fox here a second ago. Excuse me, did you see somebody with a, a head about as giant as yours with it wearing a cowl walking around? It's the same gray fox as always. It's the exact same gray fox that we all know and love. He doesn't look any different. <laughs> Capital. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
Oh, the game crashed. We were having too much fun, actually. <laughs> okay, Jess, get a grip. She's dying over there. I'm glad to hear it, Andrew. I'm glad to hear it. Some Yeah, every once in a while I'll write a line where I'm like, even I think that's funny. You need to dr drink some... Literally look like that picture of Rambo giving a thumbs up. You need to, like, go drink some water or something. It's just, it's literally just hyperventilation now. I'm kind of worried. Are you okay? I just, I hear through my headphones. <gasps> She'll sort herself out eventually. God bless you ever programmed in the ability to have clothing, like, match the physique of the character you've made. That's a game changer. Can I go through the secret? Damn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt, Napper. Jess is, like, ca has cases of the giggles, like, more profoundly than anybody I've ever met. After a period of time, she doesn't even know why she's laughing anymore, but she just can't, like, stop it. I wish to welcome you to this. I welcome you to our family and this sanctuary. May you find yourself at home here in the loving embrace of Our Lady, the Night Mother. May Sithis be with you. I've heard so much about you. Welcome to our family. Welcome, brother. So good to finally meet you. I hope you're getting along all right. Oh! I'll be seeing you. Why? Then. Huh? My dear what the hell? <laughs> what? Please, I'm trying to get Jess to calm down. You can't do things like this every 10 seconds. Why? There she goes. I value our secrets, and I've never betrayed them. <laughs> but using stealth to kill, it's just so weak. But brother, what of the contracts that require subtlety? You must at least strive to earn the bonuses that are offered. Bonuses? <laughs> Useless, I say. Gold and magical trinkets are no substitute for the freedom to slaughter anyone I please, at any time. Oh, Gulgren, <laughs> your methods may be crude, but your heart is always in the right place. Oh, there you are. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. <laughs> I'd hug you, but Ochiba told me not to. Later then. Warmest welcomes to you. This is the nicest group of people in Cyrodiil. And loyal daughter of Sithis. I hope you find our sanctuary. Her head liking. looks like an Easter Island. May your arrows always strike. Get away from me. If it isn't the newest member of the family, let's get one thing straight. The tenants prevent me from killing you. But I don't have to like you. Oh wait, ten or three, you have to like him. But only because Ochiva is making me. Bye, Sithis. I don't have all day. Wow. There's some pricey swag here.
A fine bargain for you. If he sold way more of these arrows, I'd buy them. Five doesn't really do much for me. I guess it would kind of be cheap if you could just have a bunch of crazy-ass arrows. Bow of Infernal Frost sounds pretty rad. Oh, only seven uses? Oh, yeah, no. No, no, no. That's, uh, it's not going to do it for me. You've got... That's more than You've I got the touch. Have. That's a f You've got Got to keep the water walking. Eh. Fire frost resistance. I'm going to take the money. Okay. You've got yourself a deal, idiot. Now I can sell it for five times its worth. This is just me buying chips at the gas station the other day. <clears throat> I'll pay with debit, please. You got yourself a deal, idiot. Thank you, sir. May I have another? I, I always have a hard time parting with all these alchemy ingredients, even though they're, some of them are kind of worth selling. Oh, here we go. Uh, these just restore mana, I think. Yeah, that's fine. I can't make that. Oh, you coward! You've got an excellent, an excellent bargain. I'm friends with you now, inexplicably. An excellent bargain, idiot. Just take Is there a, a blacksmith? Away from me, house cat. Uh, look at what that the fur. What a disgrace. He's literally a self-loathing Khajiit. Did he does did he just he literally is racist against Khajiits, but you are one though, Mirage. This Get is like from me. the evil version of me. What the hell? Why? Why would he have that voice line? I guess he shares the voice actor with Argonians, but you'd think they would like... You can't use this for Gajit, okay? <laughs> um... What was I even... Oh, right. I'm just gonna see if there's like a blacksmith here or something. I feel like there is. Hail, my brother! That, that guy's just a big softy. The blind, the blind Khajiit, uh, Nord supremacist. Ah, greetings. <laughs> Hello, what is it? I don't know, maybe there's no smith. Here you are. So good to finally meet you. This guy looks more like a cat Warmest than most of the Khajiit. You. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtieri. I provide assignments for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. Yes. A contract is a secret. Okay, I don't need While to. carrying out a con. I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A <laughs> captain, in fact, on his ship. But you know, I've never actually been asked how I feel crew. about pirates before. Interested? I've never had to gather my thoughts on the subject. Excellent. Here is what you must do. 
<clears throat> Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaint. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaint in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Mm. Oh, and one Thanks more for the thing. Tip. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight I'm may probably not going to do that. But thank you for the tip. Farewell, brother. This guy's kind of cute. He's always got a little coy face on. I'm incorrigible. I see you've accepted the contract. Tell me more about the contract. I'll do it this one time. Once. Of course, the ship was out to sea at the time, somewhere between Vardenfell and Solstheim. Now those were the days. All right. Well. Go now, dear family. That's interesting to know, but uh, it doesn't really do much for me. Yes, brother. What can old Gogron do for you? So, your first contract. No chance for a bonus, huh? The thing oh, is that right. this isn't you're even a rough crowd. Off. These guys are the nicest, Who needs friendliest magic items when you've got raw and the great they're, thing about they're, they're killing a target. Something about killing people that helps them is you can talk get the let out before you do it. You know, for example, this one time I had a contract to kill a little Nord girl at her birthday party. <laughs> she asked me if I was the jester. So I said to her, "No, I am a messenger of death." <laughs> you should have seen the look on her face. <laughs> anyway, she won't be seeing age six. And not just because there's no children in the entirety of this game. Later then. Schemer? It's kind of a cute name for a giant rat, actually. Let's not waste. Oh no, not you. Farewell. Hello. The Marie Elena, you say? I've seen that ship. There's a unique yeah. balcony at the stern. My guess is it leads to the captain's cabin. Could be useful. May Sithis be with you. Why are you still crouching from before? Yes, is there something you need? I've traveled by prison ship. It was cramped and dark. I'll be seeing you then. Back down. Look at that form. Of course. What is it? I've been meaning to ask you about your last contract. Wait, is he wearing like for no, some reason, the, from the certain angle, it looked like he was wearing like early 2000s, like black cargo pants, like the type you'd have a wallet chain with. Like if you kind of squint, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> like really long shorts almost. Deftones pants, as I like to call them. And Nibonian Valley. Oh, what's up, I Millennia? I didn't see you pop in there. What? The... Why? I'm not even, like, am I even near the crate? Why is it, like, prompting? No. It's like, yeah, it really wants me to. Oh, okay. I guess once you're in the vicinity of it. But I mean, he said you could just kind of whoop into the. Oh, man. Very hard lock. Oh, well.
I'm getting better. Or like at least more like consistent about lockpicking. Yes, Dawn, your days are numbered. Uh Bon. What has the best Yes, probably do the trick. Or not. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Cutlass. Is that better than my weapons? Yeah, it sure seems like it. I'll hang on to that. Captain. Captain. <laughs> hey, you're in route. Nice. A job well done. Can't believe they sent me all the way over here just for that. A coin. An old nope. I have given you all quite enough. Thousands upon thousands of gold. I hope I get the well key soon. The first arrow that wakes you up isn't the worst part. The worst part is the second arrow that flings you across the entire room and kills you. That's always the one that I don't like. Excuse me, brother. Can you spare a moment? Yes, sister. Is it true what I've heard okay. about your most recent... So the sound really carries in the Brotherhood lair. He rises. So, the pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion. I'm glad you've returned. The contract is waiting, if you're ready. We need you to stage an yes. accident. Yes. I think this Kill is the, the one in Bruma. In the manner specified, and you'll receive a considerable This bonus. one's entertaining. Do you accept this contract? And I'm going to toggle the free cam using the console, I think. As I expected. Good. Bainlin. The target is a wood elf named Bainlin. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's face. Fuck, you know so much about Bainlin's chair. house. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Dress up like a plumber and, and come fix his upstairs bathroom sink. His chair, as is his custom. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Now go, and may Sithis be with you. Yeah, these real-time shadows leave a little something to be desired. God, I wish I could use this well. <clears throat> it's a good thing I'm very, very fast. Yes, Reagent is one of the few quest lines I did do in Starfield so far. I, I found that the quests in that, that quest line were like the closest thing to scratching at the Dark Brotherhood itch that Bethesda has done since the Oblivion Dark Brotherhood. But the quest line ended for me like so abruptly. I was like surprised. I thought there was gonna, I thought it was like half done, but it turned out it was totally over. So I, I was a little bit disappointed by that. Yeah, stealth in that game is not too great. But like that, that quest line, that was like one of the few times that I was like there were times I came very close to not be to not like consciously thinking to myself I'm playing a Bethesda game right now there's enough kind of like variety in how you can tackle things it always comes down to and I've said this on stream before 
it always comes down to the optional stuff in this in the Dark Brotherhood quest line. It that's that's what really like amplifies the fun for me is like having to do the missions in a specific way that like forces you to play a little bit outside your comfort zone. And there and there's just some very creative ideas in this game that Bethesda doesn't often like do like the whole the whole who done it party one or like poisoning the guy to make it look like he's dead and sort of just some stuff that just kind of like pushes outside of what this engine is usually <laughs> oh you can just see me through here thought I was being hung by the mantle <laughs> All right, I'm going to wait uh, an hour. Don't mind me. It's tea posing in the attic. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I always try to catch it when I can. Mm, he's already already like in pain before it even falls no oh, that's smart as far as i remember the manservant just kind of sits here like you could you could be here for six days and he'll just chill He's mourning, yeah. Okay, fair enough. He is in a in a a state of mourning right now. Here lies Bainley. I was his man servant. Somebody unfastened a Minotaur head on the floor above us here. <laughs> the cartoon bomb shot. Yeah, that. Was Man, some, that's that's a mod, I think. The only thing outside of vanilla for this playthrough that I would consider a little... Well, I, don't, I don't know if whistles what carry through this mic, but you know what noise I just made. <laughs> the pipe, pipe falling on ground with reverb. Get a lot of mileage out of that. brother. So, the accident has been staged and Bainlin lies dead. Well done. You have more than earned your reward and bonus. I present to you this dagger. It's an enchanted blade known as Sufferthorn. Its prick is deadly, I assure you. I've often yes, been told the same about myself. To sanctuary. In fact, I believe you are ready for advancement. I hereby appoint you Slayer. Slayer. Well done. Awesome. Now go, child of Sithis. Go and rest. You'll need it. What if I'm the Grey Fox? Do you think they'll have anything to say about that? Back for more. No. As always, you no. fail to disappoint me. He doesn't know or he Your doesn't target care. target is a dark elf named Valen <clears throat> Dreth. He thinks he's safe mm. in prison. He is tragically You're mistaken. going to die in here. A prisoner recently escaped from the prison using a set of secret tunnels connected to the Imperial City's sewer system. It's a perfect way inside. Burglar, help! Just outside the Imperial prison is a grating that leads to the sewers. It has recently been tightly locked, but I will provide a key. It should be easy enough to locate Dreth in his small cell. Besides, I think you know the way, hmm? <laughs> Valendreth has been imprisoned for many years. His tongue is sharp, but his body is limp and frail. He will prove an easy, pleasurable kill. Just my type. You will receive a bonus if you fulfill the contract without killing any of the prison guards. Now go. 
And may the night mother go with 43 you. bucks for seal TS2 and 3. That's a no-brainer. Absolutely. Pull the pull the trigger on that big time. Mm. That's what's making me invisible. I think the black band might be better. I kind of like having Jewel of the Rumer on at all times. <clears throat> You'll get you'll get well over forty three bucks of enjoyment out of Time Splitters two and three. Oh, chameleon is good. Chameleon is really good. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just put the room air jewel on when I really need it. Thanks for the tip. It being broken is a good sign. Oblivion is like so barely holding together that I'm not worried about like breaking the game so much, you know? This is back before uh, developers decided they need to hyper balance single player RPGs. It's just a goofy old time. Why is the unicorn always outside wherever I go? Oh man, it's really dark. Real dark in here. I guess I have. Oh no, it's like a potion of like. Eye of Night. Lesser power? Can you only use those once a day? Is that what the deal is with those? Help! I don't get it. How it oh, right, because the debaser is broken. I guess you can just keep using lesser powers? Not really sure what the deal is there. <clears throat> I, I was really like bothered by the fact that CD Projekt Red for like the, their like next gen version of Witcher 3 decided to like go back into the game and change how a bunch of the perks worked to like balance the game again. It's like, what is that, like, really gonna do for anybody at this point? Because, like, if you want to do, like, an alchemy build that lets you, like, go nuts in the game, like, you know, just, like, let people have the option. I think most new players probably aren't going to pick alchemy anyway, just by virtue of the fact that, like, it's a system they don't really understand yet. So going back and doing that, I mean, like, I, I just don't get it. That's just that's just my feeling. I, I like I like when games like have very specific avenues to do like crazy stuff, especially like open world RPGs. Yeah, like, half the reason people like talking about Morrowind is, like, discussing all the ways you can just crack that game in half over your knee. I don't think there's any harm in that. If anything, it's just kept it, like, relevant over the years. If not having that stuff in your game is part of the intended artistic experience, you know... Are you kidding me? That's one thing. Um, but, you know, if you're patching the game eight years later, I'm going to go ahead and guess that it probably wasn't. Oh, all the way back? Oh, man. That was a bonehead mistake on my part. Guess I can probably just ignore a lot of these, a lot of these enemies. <laughs> I think most people are like pretty 
I think most people are positive on Oblivion Lock. I feel like people either like Oblivion Lock picking or they don't really like get it and just spam the auto lock pick. He's, this rat is fast as hell. But I feel like like people are bait like universally lukewarm on that Fallout 3 Skyrim style of lock picking. Like personally, I would rather have like Morrowind dice rolls than uh than that. It's not really a secret to it you just it's one of those like i feel like oblivion's lock picking is one of those things that like you kind of like intuitively pick up on it you just have to like get a feel for like when it's safe to um to like use the interact button or whatever it's not like i mean it's like pretty self-explanatory but there's like there's a slight element of randomness to it that i think probably frustrates people like, if you're good at the game, you can nail any one of these speeds, but, like, it's kind of prudent to wait for it to go up slowly. Um, because cause you actually have enough reaction time to, like, click it down when it's, like, moving slower. Some people just kind of click and hope for the best. But it's a waste of time. What are we guarding? Cold stone and shadow. That's it. Cold stone creamery. Believe me. Those assassins got what they wanted. The Emperor is dead. They got no reason to come back. That's exactly what I'm saying. But will the captain listen? The SP played Oblivion, so we have evidence of how well he could do. The prison must remain secure. Yeah, what a laugh, huh? Just who are we keeping secure? Dreth? Since that other one got away. My main man DSP. Yeah, well, I guess you can't blame Captain Montrose too much. This is his big career move, after all. Got yeah, Oblivion is definitely a vibe-based game. I think that would be safe to say. Yeah, true enough. Oh, well. I best be getting back. See, even he lunch. agrees. Don't forget, we're meeting for drinks later at the bloated float. Oh, I'll be there. How could I miss a chance to see you oh, power I'll be there. that big orc bouncer? <laughs> I ain't afraid of no one. Courage is my middle name. I... Oh, never mind. Alright, so I don't have to sit through that conversation again if things go awry. Man, I wish I had those boots of spring heel jack right now. Oh, the fun we had. Hello? Who's there? Is he just gonna chill there now? Hello? Who's there? You know, I feel like I did this whole Imperial Sewers business just recently. I'm getting a strong sense of deja vu right now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, is there a bonus in this mission? Do I forfeit if I get seen or something? Oh, yeah, no, 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 I got a, it's bonus or bust for me. Damn it. <laughs> I'm 
and sneaking. Get on the rock, damn it. Hello? Who's there? Hello? Who's there? there? Expert sneaking. Man, it's really, uh, this is a lot darker than I remember the game being. Come on. Did he get lost? Oh, shit. Oh, man. This guy's on a... on a quest right now. Must have been the wind. Oh, you. <laughs> yes, the wind. Ah, a sack with two sacks of flour in it. The classic. Hideaway spot. Stealth is, like, way more intense when you know that the game's stealth system is not very good. It's not like Thief where you're like, oh, maybe if I hide in the corner, this guy won't see me. Every once in a while, they'll just walk 30,000 feet to get to you and say, Guess it was the wind while staring right at you. I have to admit, Whoop. I'm, miss you, I'm I'm nostalgic for this old cell. The lighting in certain instances still, like, doesn't look bad. This, like, frame right here, for a game from 2006, honestly, with no mods or anything, it looks, it looks decent. Eleven. Eleven years in this rat-infested hole. But I'm getting out, and you'll still be stuck in here. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah? Where will you go, huh? What will you I got Stockholm syndrome for this cell. If I touch the bread, will the gray fox yell at me from beyond the proverbial grave? Right. And you'll be rich too. Oh, and you'll become a king. And you know what I think, Dreth? I think you'll be back. Lot always come back. You'll see, you imperial dog. When I get out of here, all of Tamria will know my name. Failing dress! Failing dress! All right, all right. I'd be tempted to let you out right now if you just shut up. Hey, come back. Oh, I miss our long conversation.
I've come to talk business with you. You've got to get... Wait! I, I know you. You, you're the one. The, the day the Emperor was killed. They went through your cell. You <laughs> lucky bastard. But you came back? Come on, you've got to help me. Let old Valen out of this cell. Literally open you've got cell door to get here. Now give me mine. What do you say, huh? Come on, friend. You're going to die in here. What? You filthy little maggot. When I get out of here, you're dead. You hear me? Dead. Show yeah. me what you've got. <laughs> I guess the quest is telling me he's dead, so I have to believe it. Oh! I just walk out. All casual-like. Ah. Man, I gotta go the long way? Ah. Oh, it's gonna sell key, too. Never know when you might need it. Is it illegal to be in here? No. Hey, where the hell did you come from? Excellent. Ah, those big beautiful skies. On a chilly frost fall morn. The victory flashing of the screen. I'm only asking for a single coin. rewards the way to me and when am I gonna be able to use the well Excuse me, brother. I have a horse no I have a unicorn that follows me around that I absolutely did not like intend for that to happen so you infiltrated the Imperial prison, eliminated Vale and Dreth, and killed not one guard. Most excellent. In addition to your standard reward, I present to you this bonus. Behold, Behold the, scales the scales of, of pitiless, pitiless justice. justice. While carried, the scales will magically enhance your strength, intelligence, and agility, but diminish your personality. A That's not a problem for me. Indeed. Hey, what the... Get the hell back up. Not done with you yet. I have a special contract that needs fulfillment. In truth, I don't wish to offer it to any other family member. I've come to rely on your abilities. We're usually called upon to take a life, but not this time. This contract requires us to stage the assassination of a marked man. Are you ready? You must go to the city of Coral and break into the house of Francois Mottiere. Inside, you will find Mottiere waiting for you. Do not kill him. You see, Francois Mottiere is a marked man. He owes a considerable sum to the wrong kind of people, so they have sent an enforcer to kill him. Here. You will use this specially poisoned knife to stage Mottiere's death in the enforcer's presence. Otieri himself will provide more details. This is an unusual contract. Motieri had to make a special arrangement with us before it was approved. I trust in your professionalism. I had an Elder Scroll, see. The blade has been coated with a rare poison called Langerwine. One drop in a normal human bloodstream will mimic the effects of death immediately. I have provided you with a vial of antidote which will be used to revive Francois Mottieri after you successfully stage his death. You should also know that there's only enough Lango wine on the blade for... Oh. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Wait, but you just... Oh, whatever. Get away from me. Hey, what's up, buddy? You again. 
Goodbye, cities. I don't have all day. Hurry it up. Hey. Take those. Hands of Midnight. You bought that for a song. I'm gonna buy all Just the take... lock picks before uh, the whole thing goes south. It'll be a lot harder to get a hold of them afterwards. Yeah, don't you have to like, collect like 30 Nern Root or something in this one to cure vampirism? It's a big pain in the ass. Oh, I remember this one's, uh, there's like a theatrical production involved here. There's some amazing acting. You will be, you'll be blown away. Daniel Day-Lewis oh. as Francois Motier. Well, Hello. You must be the one Lucien Lachance told me about. I've been expecting True, you. True, my boy. We haven't got much time, I'm afraid. I borrowed quite a bit of gold from some underworld types. I, uh, I missed a payment. Now they don't even want the money. They say I insulted them. They've sent an enforcer to kill me. His name is Hides His Heart, and he's on his way here now. That's why I hired you. So you can fake my death. Spit it out, you worm. When, when Hides His Heart gets here, I'll put on a little act. You'll cut me with your poison knife, and that idiot will think I'm dead, okay? After that, you must flee from Coral, Look at this little and smile. Hides his heart must not be killed. Little cutie. That way he can go back and tell his employers I'm dead. Pinchable if you cheeks, wait Francois. A day, my body will be put on display in the Coral Chapel Undercroft. You can come to me then and administer the antidote. Got all that? Good. Hides his heart will be here any moment. Get ready. Oh, I do hope this works. Take care. Motieri, I know you're in there. My employers are most displeased. I'm <laughs> coming in and you can beg That's him. for your life. I'd recognize the timbre of his voice anywhere. <laughs> Motiera, I am here to exact payment in blood. <laughs> Don't look at me, you idiot. Look at him. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Winks oh, no. at me. What am I to do? An underworld enforcer and a dark brotherhood assassin, both here to kill poor Francois. <laughs> the dark brotherhood? Oh, you have been a naughty boy, Motier, haven't you? Stand aside, assassin. Very, don't Motier look over there. My, look me in the eye here. My employers demand it. Ah, what's this? Oh. oh, dark brotherhood assassin, please don't cut me with that wicked blade. It looks like this is the end of poor Francois. If you sincerely believed you were going to die, Let me show you how would you I say, What's the matter? This? Get the fuck back here. <laughs> <Fired. laughs> well, he definitely, definitely, uh, like, had some kind of horrible, like, concussion as he hit the pavement, at least. I don't feel so good. Even after you gave me the antidote. I don't remember a lot of things. They could at least give you a second after the death before the quest update pops up. But it's like the second that like the heart monitor stops beeping, it's all over. Look at him laughing at me from beyond the grave. <laughs> Just wakes up. Every bone in my body is broken. Why did you kill me on the stairs, you fool? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, you're not supposed to kill- oh, whoopsie. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the- oh, man. 
Do I sacrifice a cool reward? I, did, I, I looked at the quest before. I didn't uh, pay attention to his dialogue, I guess. What well, you know... You'd think, uh... Oh, the Bastion? That's how fucking far back I am. Oh, that, that, that sucks. Oh, well. I don't know if you get anything, uh, that great. I know, I know, I'm, uh, I'm streaming. I'm trying to come up with funny things to say and failing 70% of the time. I'm not always paying attention to the dialogue. It's true, it was, it was entirely in self-defense. Can't argue with that. You imbecile. So who's gonna wake Francois up now? Is he just gonna lay there dead? Is he just like gonna, he's just gonna just rot there now? <laughs> Listen, I killed Hides as hot. I'm really sorry. <laughs> just fucking abandoning him. Please wake me. <laughs> I've been dreaming horrible dreams for so long. So. The Enforcer hides his heart has been killed. He was to bear witness to Mottieri's death and report back to his superiors. By failing to fulfill this contract, you have brought shame upon us all. Wait, Leave I didn't kill now. Francois. I just hit him with the poison-tipped dagger. Of this family. I could theoretically still go to the Undercroft and, like, bring him back to life. Well, now, you are an ambitious one, aren't you? I'm afraid I, I have killed no the enforcer. That was you. the problem. Francois is still like has uh, come to an end. Instead, you must report to Ochiva. Oh, okay. So like he he's he's still alive with the uh, Langerwine poison in his veins right now. Ah, greetings. Oh, well. I've been waiting for you. As Vicente <laughs> I guess he'll just die of you, like time working starvation or something. To an end. From now on, you will receive all assignments directly from me. In fact, your next contract is available now. In the Imperial City, there lives a high elf who must be removed from existence. Finding this person may prove challenging. Are you interested? I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. I'm paying Your very close attention to the optional thing. He lives somewhere in the Imperial City and fancies long walks. Unfortunately, that's all we know. We don't know which district he calls home, which establishments he frequents, or anything about his schedule. This contract will require a bit of detective work. I suggest Please you bring speak me back. to your fellow brothers and sisters and see if they can I'm offer I'm still alive. Advice. I'm begging you. Ah, yes. There is one more thing. The Imperial City is also home to an Imperial Legion captain named Adamus Philida. Do you know who that is? Thank you, Mech Exile. Happy Soldier Day. Oh, it is Soldier Day. Right you are. Wow. Feel a little self-centered for not even realizing that. Yeah, happy Soldier Day, everybody. Heed my words. Philida has dedicated his life to eradicating the Dark Brotherhood. He will not tolerate our operations. The minute you're out of high school and they don't city. hand out poppies anymore. When that happens, For us Canadians, he it's, tends uh, to make our lives uncomfortable. It all falls Let's apart. Let's not give the good captain any reason to go poking around in our affairs, hmm? If possible, do away with failing in some place out of the way. Definitely indoors with no other people around. A secure location with no witnesses. This will make it look like a simple murder. Philida will be none the wiser, and you'll receive a nice bonus. Now go. And may Sithis go with you. Berenstain weekend, not Berenstain Bears weekend. Berenstain weekend.
time to get the detective work on the go. I give up. Actually, I gotta level up, I think. Yeah, a little level up. What? Oh, wait for the hug. I you can wait. You can wait a couple of minutes. Scott talking. So neat. <laughs> Even the innkeeper's tired of you hugging. That... line I'm looking for. Well, I am playing through Dark Brotherhood right now, although I've kind of mucked it, it up. Name not Sarah. Um, so that's a good one. Thieves Guild is fun. I don't know if I have any like particular ones outside today? of the main two. I like the part in the Mages Guild where you have to uh, uh, get like the recommendation from every city. But that's kind of cool. And Shivering Isles is a good time as well. Hopefully we can get around to this Khajiit gang just wandering through the main street here. <laughs> where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? <laughs> Perhaps the local beggars will have something to say i can eat for the day with a single <laughs> coin silence peasant you are beneath me blessings of the shadow oh another level up oh my goodness <clears throat> oh, upon you. describe a non-secure location what can i Phalian, you say? Why, yes. Phalian, you say? That's oh. in the Talos Pla Okay. You too. That was easy. They handed me that one on a silver platter. That's got to be it for level up. Yeah, okay, for now. Well met. Full white streak. Well, I mean, I, I I don't know. As a Khajiit, I feel like having an intense hatred of elves would kind of be uh, a little bit, um, I guess, a, a little bit hi hypocritical, given what the fact that most now? races in Tamriel have a big problem with uh, with Khajiit, and I feel like Lamp is too like sort of fun loving and simple to like hold any kind of like prejudices full full white stray i am i've had it with elves it will destroy all the elves the armor set you get from that knights of the nine uh uh quest line is pretty rad i'm supposed to be asking the person at the counter welcome Tell I might know him. Well. So? Okay, what do you like here? You love joking, you love coercion, you love being coerced. Okay. I don't know how to feel about that. No more, you're frightening. Don't try to manipulate me. Mm. I doubt it. Yeah, I get it. Oh, what this nonsense. isn't gonna go well. Yeah, I doubt it. Whatever you want. What nonsense. I doubt it. She's a tough nut to crack. I doubt it. Good one. 
I accept I have no choice. Not bad, not bad. I doubt it. I... What nonsense. Oh, I wish I could spin the wheel. Don't, please. I'm sorry. I... Don't waste your flattery on me. Damn. Good one. I doubt. Some bad ones. I accept I have no choice. I doubt it. Not bad. Not, no more. Not now, not later, not ever. Don't, please. I'm sorry. Hmm. Not now. I sure that's cute. How about that? Thalian? There oh, we I go. know him all right. A waste of life, that one. He lives here, you know, with his sweetheart, a trainer. What that poor girl sees in him, I'll never know. A little coercion goes a, a long way in this city. Room, their food, everything. She's quite wealthy, I believe. Phalian used to have money. Used to be quite a gentleman, too. But that was before he took a fancy to the, you know, the skooma. <laughs> Jez, standing off screen, now, looking Phelian like one of the twins from The Shining. He's off using skooma or wandering the city looking for some, I imagine. He comes back every night to Give, be Let me end this stream. But only for a few hours, I swear. God. That high elf is going to wind up Cute. dead if he keeps living like this. I don't like being coerced as much as Augusta does. Farewell. Find the skooma den. Secret skooma room at the top of every hotel. Oh, Phalian. Dear Phalian. Why must you ruin both our lives? <laughs> Thank you, bad Matt. And what might you want, peasant? Wow. Oh, just get away. Oh, here we so... go. Okay, yeah, what, what did you like? Uh, joking and admiration. Okay. Sure, that's really nice. Don't, I doubt it. Please, don't make me. That's pretty good. Really, nice. I doubt it. Hmm. That's that's cute. You think I'm afraid of you? What a fool you are. I doubt it. Oh, goodness, what can I say? I doubt it. Please. Yeah, I get it. Some of the voice work really changes Please, over. I, I don't mean to get emotional, but I feel like you I just called me a peasant you. less than 30 seconds I ago. I don't know what to do about Phalian. All he thinks about, all he cares about is Skooma. He was a all fine he young man. About. But he's lost everything his looks, his money, his self respect. I followed him a few times to see where he goes. He walks around the city looking for Skooma. And then he goes to Lorkmere's house for several hours. There's a lot of uh, hefty saliva com coming through the microphone they recorded the I elf think lady the house with. Is deserted. That's why he goes there. So he can escape from life and do his Skooma. Thank you for listening. You're a good friend. I just hope my sweet Phalian can clean himself up, or that awful skooma will be the death of him. Oh. Be seeing you. I'll clean him up. Clean him up. Forever. Sometimes all you need is a little admiration. To go from peasant to friend. Tiding citizen. Er. He's been hanging with the wrong crowd.
I heard you got skooma. It's like not that bad of a skooma den. It's like just a pretty nice looking house with like a few like dilapidated boxes and cobwebs. Doesn't really strike me as like a junky haven. Torn sack of grain, why this slob? It's gotta be something good in here. I won't hear otherwise. Ah. Of course, calipers in a covered pot. Mm, just what I was looking for. The clay goblet, of course. There was a dead body. Uh, there was a dead body in the basement. The, it's fucking. It's it's so dark. It's so dark on my monitor. I didn't even notice. Well, I got. I guess I got bad news to report back. Oh well, no, I know it's not Phalian, but like. What's I was hoping that would be the quest thing. <laughs> it's uh the whole stream is falling apart. The universe is telling me it's time to end it. After five hours of desperately trying to not look like a fool, my uh my hard work is being undone. Each and every minute that passes by. I guess, am I supposed to just like wait for him here, maybe? Stop right there! shouldn't sneak up on people like that. <laughs> hey, hey, how, what are, hey, what whoa. are you doing here? You're not my, not my friend. What, you know, what, what do you want? Want. Sleep? Uh, but, nah, no, I, I, I'm not tired, I'm not tired right now. I have lots of, you know, energy. He sounds like Fat Man from Metal Gear Solid 2 now. I have lots of energy in my veins. Good night, sweet prince. Can you revive that guy in the chapel? I don't think so. I feel like the game probably got rid of his body, but I mean, I can take a look. Just for the hell of it. It was in uh, Coral, right? Uh, was it? Was it in Coral? It was in Anvil? 
You sure? I don't think so. No, it was in Coral, I think. Uh, is this it? Yep. Yeah. Well, he's still here. I think it's key. Like, I feel like not all is lost. Still bring him back. We still have the technology. Francois doesn't need to go this way. Look at him, he's running away. Just give this poor guy his antidote. Bring this guy back. Don't worry, I got this. See? No harm, no foul. Alright, actually, you know, this was a big mistake. <laughs> However, we can still finish the contract. Greeting. Good day. See? He's happy. Lots of dogs in this town. He's, something's not Lots right about him ever since we brought him back, course, but we're I prefer the but it's kind of kinda better than nothing. Good day. Francois is back and all is right with the world. I gotta, I gotta talk to Vicente about this. Hey, Vincent. Hey, Vince. Remember how you snubbed me on that last contract? Well, take a look at this. I walk Francois and his mouth is like pursed shut. He can't say anything. See? He's fine. Weekend at Francois. <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks for bringing me back to life. You should give Lamp the full payment for the contract. See? Straight from the horse's mouth. His bones are all broken from falling down the stairs. The high elf Thalian now swims in the maelstrom of darkness at the feet of our dread father, Sithis, and there were no witnesses to your handiwork. Because of the discretion you exercised, Captain Philida will not suspect the Dark Brotherhood was involved and will not meddle in our affairs. Here is your reward and bonus. Both have been well earned. In addition, you have been advanced to the rank of Eliminator. I present to you now this key. It unlocks the well behind the abandoned house above. Use it to gain yes. hidden quick access to this sanctuary. Go now and rest. And may the night mother haunt your dreams. I have another contract when you're ready. One that will rely on your ability to remain fully undetected. Far yeah, to good the news. west, there lives a fierce warlord and his oh, I remember this one. I like this mercenaries. Mission. We'll save him for next time, though. Is the warlord. Do you accept this contract? Excellent. Now listen closely. Nestled in the mountains to the west lies Fort Such. It is the home of the warlord Roderick and his mercenaries. Roderick has recently taken ill. He now lies in eternal slumber, kept alive only by the daily administration of a powerful medicine. You must infiltrate Fort Such, find Roderick's medicine, and replace it with a poisoned bottle I will provide. But you must remain undetected. Whomever arranged this contract wants it to look like Roderick died from his illness, so discretion is essential. Attack no one. Be seen by no one. If you are detected, the poisoning will fail, and Roderick must be killed in some other manner. That will, of course, forfeit your bonus. All right, let me just find a nice saving here. There's a nice picturesque spot to save the game. And we will continue next Saturday, hopefully. Uh, thanks everybody for joining the stream. Always fun times with Oblivion. I can't imagine what madness awaits us next time. Uh, stay on the lookout for uh, Ultima video this week and then Lost Odyssey after that. So, 
take it easy, everybody. Have an awesome uh, rest of your weekend.